All right, boys. Well, <clears throat> I think he's making the tweet. So welcome to Blast Zone. Hey. Uh, the, sh the show where me, Coney, and EE, -E, who make up the Blast Zone, talk to you, viewers, about stuff that's going on in Smash and anything else you want to talk about during viewer questions. I'm TK. This is Coney. We're just, and this is EE. -E. How you guys doing? Hey. I'm doing well here. I, uh, I don't know. Today's, or this week's just been kind of interesting. It's been a slow, it's been a slow week, to be honest. Mm. You know okay. what I mean? So nothing too drastic is going on. But, hey, you know, we all just chilling. So Maryland announced, I don't know if you guys saw it, the end of the stay-at-home order. And now it's just an advisory. So on Friday at 5 p.m., everything's opening back up in limited capacity, including, like, barbershops and salons and retail stores. So that's a step in the right direction. But, you know, I'm still probably not leaving my house. Yeah, I don't hmm. know about that, but I, I think I might I might be big chilling because that's when I, so this is the thing about like the quarantine and the advisory and all that good stuff. Like, thanks for quarantine and sick, whatever. But I feel like people are gonna get too wild on too wild too quickly. Like, yep. yeah, too wild too quickly, and then we're gonna have to go back into quarantine. So it's gonna be like that Florida beach situation, except everywhere. Like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know, man. People are gonna be going out to you know nightclubs, kissing every girl they see. You know what I'm saying? Like sharing drinks with everybody. Nah, nah, nah I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm a yeah. little, I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It's good to hear that we might be on the upswing, but I don't trust anybody on this shit either because I feel like I read conflicting reports all the time, like in the news. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's yeah. just like definitely. There's no consistency. Oh god, no. I don't know. Uh, let me go close my window one sec. I didn't know we all de technically had a W emote. That's nice. These, these, all these W emotes too are like all like, man, what did you say? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Ah, right. oh, man. I'm back. Phil, what is your sleep schedule like? Because I always see you streaming at like 2 to 3 a.m. Um, I usually go to sleep around 6 or 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then I wake up around 1 or 2. Gotcha. I couldn't get a host. So I couldn't get a host on. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Nah, were you, were you, were I was you I was live last night. I, I, but I was just playing. I was just playing. Uh, I was just playing um, Apex. So it wasn't anything of interest. Oh, you were streaming Bro, Apex. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know how to get this point across. And I've been trying to get this point across forever. But why won't people just leave me alone? And let me play my game, bro. <laughs> why? Like all I want to do. Mean? All I want to do is sit and have some fucking fun, right? And you know, even if I'm getting bodied, I don't care. Like I just want to sit. It's a nice chill stream. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, like, uh, we're listening to music. We're we're whatever, whatever. I I did I played uh, last night because a new chick came out, Loba or whatever, and she like does the shopping thing, right? So I'm not paying. I'm not. It's late. I'm not paying that much attention. Mm -hmm. I go through. I open the thing. I'm looking for a certain gun. I don't see the gun. I'm like, all right, I don't want anything. So I just leave. Guy in my chat's like, why didn't you take ammo? I'm like, I wasn't thinking about the ammo. He was like, yeah, but now you you just wasted your, oh, why didn't you take the ammo? And I was like, well, I have like 300 bullets. I don't really think it matters, <laughs> but, but, but. Why did you take the ammo? All right. <laughs> Let me just, uh, I didn't even, I didn't even play. I wasn't even playing Apex with the intention of winning yesterday. I just wanted to listen to two albums and I didn't want to just be on screen, you know. Sure. Yeah. Like, just hear like, hmm, good song. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'll put something on the background that I'm barely playing and, uh, and just listening to music. So, I don't know, man. Chat's annoying, I dude. I don't know, like, I don't know. Every once in a while, I, I, I've gotten very lucky because my chat will filter those people out and make them feel uncomfortable, which is very funny. Um, but, like, I just... I need that. Dude, it's funny because, like, people come into my stream and be like, why didn't you do this? And, like, my stream will be like, oh, he's, he's practicing for a speed run or something. Or, like, they'll just make up some bullshit. It's so funny. And they always have <laughs> they always have like a lie like. All right, listen here, listen here, the kings. All right, and I know that we've split like four years ago, okay, and they don't really come to the stream anymore. But I need y'all to come to the stream <laughs> to do stuff like that, okay? Just leave it up in the background. You don't even have to show up. Just actually, you don't even have to show up for the stream. Just stay in the chat, okay? Just open the chat in a different window, okay? And just bully people who backseat me. I need that. I need it's those. It's very fun, dude. Like. There's, there's one guy, I tell this story a lot, but it was so goddamn funny. There was somebody, I was playing Crash Bandicoot 2, right? And I'm just relaxing. I'm just having a good time. And uh, I don't play the game seriously. And then out of nowhere, this guy whose name was like the expert gamer comes into my chat. And he's like, I challenge you to a race. And I'm like, okay, let's race. 
and he's like, and I'm like, I'm gonna start racing right now. He's like, okay, I gotta go play. And then he's like, and then we're doing a speedrun race or something, and he leaves, and I'm just playing the game. And then like an hour and a half later, he comes back and he's like, I just beat the game, and you're still only here, lol. And me and the rest of my chat are like, oh no, I already beat the game. I'm on loop two. I it's already over. <laughs> like, I, I I finished what, an hour ago, and he's like, oh man, I gotta finish it again too. And then he left again. <laughs> like, what the hell? It was very funny. I love that guy. He's, he's hilarious. <laughs> so, all right, before we get into our topics, before the actual topic, so I play, I've been playing Custom Robo, right? Mm. Again. I played, I've beaten this game like eight times, whatever. But Custom Robo actually has like a dedicated like fan base of like tryhards or whatever. What? Still? Yeah, there's like a there's like a Discord. They they net play, all that good stuff, right? So, uh, I've beaten this game. Custom Robo is a very fucking easy game. Like, you don't, like, you don't need to min-max the game. It's whatever, sure. whatever. So, I'm trying like, I'm trying like, uh, you know, dumb builds of stuff that I didn't do when I was younger. You know, like, oh, let me try this gun with these pods or whatever, whatever. This guy comes in giving me the most basic advice, but he's, like, thinking he's, like, so big brain. Like, this is stuff I haven't tried. So there's, like, one uh, there's one bot named Javelin who can just, um, he can dash at you the entire time. It's, like, a, a, a very, and the dash do a lot of damage, but it's, like, a very small cooldown. Yeah. So you take that, and you take the stun gun, and you stun once, and then you just dash a bunch of times, right? So I'm over here messing around with all these builds. Guy comes in. Have you tried the stun guns javelin build? Yes, bitch. I'm 30, bro. I played this game when I was 19, and then before when I was like seven. Like, leave me alone, bro. <laughs> that shit is so annoying, bro. Yeah. Like, and so every time you just, hey man, have you tried the dude? The drill is OP. Have you tried the drill yet, bro? I've played this game. I've beaten this seven times. I know what is good. Like. I, it's just so annoying. So I, so he did it the first day, and I was like, dude, we're just chilling. We're having a good time. Please leave me alone, you know? And he's like, okay, right? He's like, okay. Something he's going to leave the stream, but nah, he hangs out. It's like, all right, cool. That's dope. Comes in the second day doing the same fucking thing. And, I, and then yeah. I was like, dude, leave me alone. And he was like, okay, sorry, sorry, white flag. And I was like, no, I've already told you this. Don't, don't make it like I'm attacking you. Like, I told you this yesterday, and you came back today thinking it was different. So I'm just, I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm annoyed. Chats, I think there are some people in the world who really, like, like, so your value to somebody, right? Are you funny or interesting, right? That's usually what it comes down to. Some people just want to be interesting and helpful. So if you don't know somebody, if your favorite commentator is TK Breezy and you come into the stream and, oh, I know about a lot about this game, let me help him out. Let me be helpful. They don't realize they're being annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't need They that. don't get it. Like, how do I put... I can't express that in the title enough. Please leave your tip <laughs> leave me at alone. Home. Like I don't know how to put that. Like, I want you to watch the stream and enjoy the game with me because it's a fun game. But I don't want any of your fucking tips. Like how do I put that in the title when you're not gonna read the title anyway? I have to put that. On the, you know, the next stream that's just gonna be like on the screen, like <laughs> just in fat know. letters, like covering the entire screen. Please do not give me tips. Just don't I chat. I'm kind of a demo I guess it's for me it just depends on the game like for Ace Attorney I love figuring out I've had a lot of fun figuring that game out myself definitely mm -hmm. don't want any spoilers but last night for Doom I don't know what the fuck was going on I, yeah, I but you're bad at games though and you like that so first of all I'm not bad at games you are bad I'm at in games I'm intermediate you are bad at games Doom I'm playing it on Nightmare you are bad like, no you're not I was watching <laughs> you're bad at games what? it's okay like you found your calling and it's not games so like you're bad at games bro like <laughs> yes I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> Continue. I did see that Cuphead run, though. That was nice. That, thank I'm, you. I am intermediate at games. I think... Uh, no, nah, Coney's like, he's intermediate slash good at games. I'm intermediate Intermediate games. slash good? Hello? Yeah, because it depends on what the game is. Okay, I feel that. Yeah, Apex, yeah, I'm not depends nice. Depends what the game is. Apex, I'm not yeah, nice. Yeah. I feel that. Cuphead, though? <laughs> see me at Cuphead. <laughs> Cuphead, he's a he's got it. Yeah, he's a god at that. That's true. That's yeah, true. true. All right, all right. Ain't let's that. talk about Super Smash Bros. As you guys can tell, <laughs> it's been kind of a slow week for Smash. This is a Smash talk show, but there's not as much to talk about. Thank you, Flat Street, for the resub. I did see it. Resubs are off because of this is going on YouTube. Anyway, this is Blast Zone. This is a talk show where we talk about Super Smash Bros. and all kinds of stuff with myself, TK Breezy, and EE collectively. They are the Black, Black Plague, and together we are Blast Zone. See how I stuttered there? I was about to say Blast Zone. This is what happens when you talk for a living. Sometimes you mess up. Anyway, I um, hope you guys are having a good night. It is Wednesday. And we are here to talk about the past weekend Smash, starting off with the box, which was a tournament this past weekend. 
with uh, Powered by Team Liquid had HBox and Le'Veon Bell coming together it was like the superpower had I think a 5,000 no not even 5,000 wasn't it like what was the it was 8,184 8, competitors that's what it was but I mean the the prize was it 10,000 20 10,000 dollars got it twenty ten thousand dollars added uh biggest smash bracket in history at 8,000 something HBox said that he thought it might be the biggest esports bracket in history um absolutely monumental feat it was incredible and uh, went off mostly without a hitch. I mean, like, there are a lot of issues that are sort of just kind of stuck with online events. But, right. Um, I mean, what'd you guys think? You and I commentate a lot of it. I know, TK, you commentated too. Uh, what'd you guys think of the uh, event throughout the weekend? I, I mean, I thought it was I thought it was fun because I thought the whole premise behind it was being able to involve, you know, and as a sports junkie, you know, anytime you involve an athlete I know like that, I'm just generally excited anyway. So having Le'Veon come on... Um, like one thing I would have liked to see, I think we I, there's got to be a collective way to improve our side of the broadcast, right? Like VMix was okay, but mm. it certainly wasn't without its faults. Discord stream is the same way. The most efficient way I've ever seen it done is is Nairo's Naifu Wars, like on that side, uh, with the way K Sizzle does it. Like that that was actually flawless tech. I don't know if that's that's limited and what he can do. Not everybody has access to it, but I think that's the only thing that's missing. Um, the, you know, besides the the natural hiccups that come on online stuff, um, sure. but it was great. It was nice to see Le'Veon actually involved. He's interested. I saw him make a tweet about making a Twitch channel and stuff like that. He wants to do a box too, so that's really good. I think that bodes really well uh, for the community. And overall, we got some really good man. That top eight was nice. That top eight yeah. was really nice. It was really enjoyable. And I'm not saying that because there was no Sonics involved. I'm saying it because I generally enjoyed that top eight. So. Uh. I think the tournament was pretty good. Um, I think that, yeah, as E.E. E. said, I think that Nairo actually needs to make a video, like, about that. Like, Nairo should put a video about, like, how to, you know, stream uh, these Parsec. tournaments. Parsec. Yeah, just something something so that way we can stop having these issues because, like, you know, we've been having issues with almost every uh, every tournament so far. We've had issues with uh, with uh, Charlie's tournaments. The, the, the not, not issues with the tournament, like, itself, but the way that we have to commentate. So with Charlie's tournaments, we, like, can't commentate with sound. Yeah, because they're just capturing the OBS with uh, the VMix thing. Uh, you know, sometimes <laughs> that was it, it worked out, sometimes it didn't. <laughs> and then with the other thing, uh, with the other thing is us actually entering the ring, and the players are upset because we're causing more lag. So we need to figure out how to uh, do these online tournaments, and and then mass uh, mass spread it to the rest of the people who are doing online tournaments. Sure. Yeah, I I don't Favorite. know what the what the answer is but i think we definitely need like a standard sort of production um expected oh yeah sorry phil it was my fault i always get the levels wrong on stream but oh no no worries on the worries. youtube video it'll be fine because i got the guy uh joe's gonna be doing like the adjusting um but it's it's just uh i i feel like there's no standard right now so like during the vmix tur tournament everything was fine and then somebody would get like the ko hit and you know that like the red spark effect it shut the stream down for literally like <laughs> 10 seconds. So we're like, is that it? And then the stream knows if that's it, but we have to like try to vamp me, Korean and EE were like literally just talking about matchups at certain points when like big things were happening. We're like just speculating cause we can't see what's going on. Um, it was tough. It was, it was tough. Um, I'm fine with I mean, no sound. Honestly, I'm okay with that. But I mean, I, I think everybody has a different preference, you know? I yeah, definitely need sound. Play. Like, I mean, I, like I think I need sound for, cause I, I don't, I, I love the sound of the game. Like, it just you know, sure. spike, when spikes hit, like the bass and all that good stuff. Like, all that's nice. So I like the sound of the game, and it keeps me in, engaged. And when I'm not using sound, I can just use music too. But it's like the same thing as playing without sound, where I feel like I'm not trying as hard for some fucking reason uh -huh. because there's no sound. So yeah, I hear you. Well, uh, best Ness ended up winning. And now people are talking about Ness. He was the number one seed, and he actually won it, which is not especially common. Uh, beat Tweak in Grand Finals. Beat him in Winner's Finals, too. And I think Grand Finals was a 3-0. Um, just absolute just mopping. Um, saw a lot of great players. I think the Buzz was third, Esam fourth, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, you had also in the mix, I can't remember the exact placings, but I know Epic Gabriel was in there. Um, Rafi X also. A lot of great players. But yeah, best JW, that was awesome. JW, JW, yes. And then uh, Yez, to round it out, who was the Ike player. Yep. Um, great event. Uh, I would love to see more, and I think they would be foolish to not do a box two, especially with everything going on right now. 
Um, he hinted at it a couple times, but I mean, I, I'm, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I know that we talked about how cloud is, we think just sort of better online. I feel very similar about Ness. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like he, he is so much harder to punish on stage and then off stage, his weakness is gone. Especially when it's best Ness who like has so many, how many times did he get gimped? Like I said, I think he got gimped once by accident because Tweak jumped into the the Thunder Jewel. Like, right? He doesn't get, he does not get gimped. It's no, just you're scared to go out there. Yes, like, yeah. You're just terrified because it's online. You know, you're not gonna have that that precision every single time you engage him down there. So you just you gotta you know beat him on stage essentially. Yeah, yeah. I just, I mean, I feel like that's the thing too is that like you don't want to make that mistake against Ness because now you're in the position where he's gonna just yo yo over the edge. So if you do right. go off stage and then go for like a wild four air or whatever, and then he just air dodge back to the ledge, gets up, starts down smashing, you're probably dead. So yeah. A lot of people are just big chilling. I think it depends on who you're playing too. I think Lucina is allowed to like whenever whenever I was watching that match between um Best Ness and Mr. E, I was getting annoyed the fact that he wasn't going off stage cuz I think Lucina is allowed to go off stage and play a little reckless because up B will hit through the stage. And uh it's just like all you're doing is just swinging in the direction that the person is. So uh with other characters though, yeah, I feel like it could be a little a little rough. But um, for the most part, yeah, I think a lot of people are just staying on stage because they don't, you know, it's it's online. They don't want to risk it, end up getting, end up going off too late and then getting PK thundered or let him air dodge past you and then go for the down smash. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a tricky thing. I feel, but I feel like it's it's scarier for Ness than it is for Cloud because like if Cloud gets stage control, it's not that bad. Um, if Ness gets stage control, like you said, he's got the yo yo. He's got yeah. so many things to just mess up your day. So yeah. Um, good stuff to Best Ness. Uh, he actually had an interview after with HBox, and um, I think Best Ness like, comes off very different in certain people's eyes. Like He comes off as kind of a jerk, but he was super humble about the whole thing, and he sort of like, he said that he, you know winning online doesn't always make him feel like it's an actual win, but he still recognizes that it's still, you know, first out of 8,000 people, that's amazing. Um, and it's actual prize money, so the hell with that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, the money's real. The money's real. <laughs> yeah. throw, throw, that, throw that money at the camera, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, came off super well. So, and and I'm I hope I hope that like does well for his because I know he's like antagonized people online before for for laughs and some people take that way too seriously, but I think he like really sort of uh, came out well in that interview, and I hope people sort of Ooh. respect him for the player that he is because very uh, talented player. His Twitter or his Twitch is popping off too, man. Like, yeah, good for be, him, dude. He might be like number three as far as like the you know the Smash Ultimate streamers. Like I feel like it's well, Void. I don't even know if Void's a Valorant streamer now, but it's like Nairo, and then like Nairo, like Samsor Void, and then probably him. So yeah, you know, I think maybe him and Cosmos are together. No, no, no it would, I think it would actually be Nairo Hbox. Hbox is up there, dude. People yeah, love his streams. Has, I guess he's almost is now. A, he's a he's an ultimate streamer. True, true, true. He pops yeah, just dude. because of he's a technically now. But yeah, I know what yeah, you yeah. mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, if you haven't uh, checked out the HBox stream, I highly recommend it. It is one. He's actually very good, like way better than you would think. And two, like every match because the character he's playing is like it's fascinating because like because he's playing Jigglypuff, every match is a nail biter. Because mm -hmm. it's him just trying to get a down air into rest setup. Every match. Like, he's just, he's always losing. And sometimes he gets the down air rest. That's basically it. Like, Jigglypuff Did is you just. You see the, uh, the, the screaming H box train is like, I saw that so one funny. It was like all the H boxes pop yeah. off. And yeah. then one plop. It was so <laughs> funny. That, yeah, that one plop. That was a good video, dude. It was that an was amazing funny video. As shit. Every match is Evo. Like, oh my god. It's super funny. Yeah. So, good stuff to Bestness. He won the box, but we'll talk about our second topic, which got discussed to death on Twitter. Uh, but this is a different show, and we want to maybe on YouTube. You guys didn't see it. Uh, let's talk about that You're Too Slow tweet. How about that? Uh, if, in case you guys didn't wait, see it, You Too wait, Slow. Wait, wait. What? Before we get into that, I, what? This, this is a good point. I don't know if I talked about this last stream, but uh, did y'all see when we played zero, uh, Friendlies Against Zero? Ricky, I brought up a good point. You brought this up last stream, but please I bring did. it up right, again. Right, no, right, no, no, no. You can do it again. You can do it again. No. All right, all right. For the new viewers, this is actually <laughs> it's actually wild. So uh, there was, like, a lot of downtime in the box or whatever. So me and uh, me and uh, HBox were like, oh, whatever. Like, we'll just sit around. We're going to watch all Zero's matches. So Zero comes in. And, like, I hop in the ring, like, as a joke. And then Zero, like, hit start immediately. And I was like, oh, shit. And But I'm playing Sheik. 
And I was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. I'll play I'll play the Sheik. So we play, and I get one game, and, like, after the game, like, uh, HBOX is like, oh, you know, let's, let's, let's run rotations or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. So he hops in, and that was it. Like, <laughs> that Wait. was it. I never got to play again. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow, with so, that. And that was, like, five more matches, too, bro. So I, I just, like, I, I swapped over to the Wii Fit. And then every time the they were like, are we still waiting for a match? Like, oh, I could play another one. He's like, are we still waiting for a match? Oh, I could play another one. And I was like, oh, but I could... No, not me? Oh, okay. All right, cool, bro. Yeah. Just, I, it's, it's cool. That's <laughs> that's bad enough in person, but you're not playing with the TO of the tournament. Like, you can't kick yeah. him off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's different. Like, Oh, man. Have this you guys ever been in one of those situations where, like, you, you're in a rotation and the guy just keeps going next and you're just like, dude, I... I'm I'm also in the rotation. <laughs> yeah, anytime I tried to play a game when West Balls was around. Oh really? That motherfucker loves to play, bro. <laughs> I'm like, alright, I'm just I'm just it's like, it's like I remember I asked one time, he's like, Don't you have commentator practice? I was like, alright man. Commentator all right. practice. Right, Shoot, well. go next to me in my in our first uh C three tournament. Like uh, uh we, we we played in a tournament and I lost the first game and I didn't even get a chance to counter pick. He just picked the state. <laughs> He he go next to me. I was like, "What?" Like, I was like, "Oh, I bet we're back on FD." I, I didn't want to go to FD. Like, <laughs> go next thing is hilarious. That's really <laughs> funny. Go next. All right. Oh man. So let's talk anyway. about the Sonic tweet. Uh, you're too slow. A Sonic player who, um, I don't know how he did over the weekend if he even played in the box or what, but he he posted a clip of him against the Palutena, and in the clip. He's down three stocks to one versus a Palutena. Like, a very big loss. Uh, looks like there's no chance of making it back. But there's, like, six minutes left on the clock. And the video is, like, sped up at certain points. And the idea is he's showing how he's mentally wearing down this Palutena player, right? So he's just running all around the stage. He's trying to find his opening. He's trying to get hits where he can. He eventually ends up winning by timeout because he just, I guess, frustrates the Palutena. And the Palutena player is um, Chag, I think. Uh, who's a, okay. if I'm Mexico. not, I think is from Mexico, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, very He's strong. Yes. Yeah. Very strong, uh, Wi-Fi Palutena player. Um, also was good offline. I don't make when you say it sound like he's only online, but, um, yeah, the idea is like, he's just playing super slow, trying to find his openings and eventually camps him out. And it sparked this big discussion online because he's clearly not playing the game in, in a lot of people's minds. Like, a lot of people watch that, and they're like, you're not playing Super Smash Brothers. But he kind of is, because he's playing to the clock. He's playing to a win condition, even though it's not the most exciting one. And a lot of people had a lot of thoughts on it. Um, I know you guys probably saw it. Phil, I doubt you said anything about it, because it doesn't seem like your speed. But TK, I saw you tweeting about it. You guys have any thoughts on this? or? Uh, my, I mean, as my tweet said, like, I don't really get the point of that tweet. Like, all right. So there's a lot of people that were like, oh, like he's just explaining himself. Like the the the, the common sense should tell you that he's playing annoying for a reason. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter. Even if he wasn't playing annoying for that reason to figure out his opponent, like you know that people will get annoyed from watching this. So uh, imagine being the person playing against it. Of course you're going to be annoyed and try to finish the game so you can get out of there. So. I don't really know, like, I don't like the fact that this tweet came out like it was some fucking big brain explanation over the fact that he's camping. That shit is dumb. Like, yo, bro, so, like, <laughs> see, the thing is, like, the reason why I'm standing on the other side of the map is because, like, for real, though, like, I'm annoying as fuck, and I was getting in his head, bro. Like, get the sh shut the fuck up, bro. Like, that, the, you're, you're playing annoying, and you're playing annoying, and, like, that should have been the end of the sentence right there. Like, I'm playing annoying, it worked. GG's. Yeah. Right? There's no big brain explanation about playing like that. Like, every if you're playing aggro, it's because you want the game to be done faster. If you're playing annoying, it's because you want to frustrate your opponent. And that goes for any game. It's like if I, if I was a Ryu player in Street Fighter, and all I did was stand on the other side of the map and throw Hadoukens until you finally jumped in on me, and then I, I <laughs> shored you. Shore you, you. Like, I am playing annoying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm playing fucking annoying. And most people are going to get frustrated by the fact that I'm only doing two moves and probably beating you. Um, so I don't understand what this, like, big brain explanation was about. It, it, it didn't need to be explained. Like, it, and if you're trying to save face with that, that wasn't going to help either. No one's going to see this and be like, you know what? I have more respect for you now. Like, <laughs> like people want to be entertained. And 
uh, at the end of the day, obviously, if you're a competitor, it's not about entertaining people, and that's fine. Like, no one's ever going to take that away from you. But also, don't try to spin the narrative like, oh, this is the only way I can play, and don't hate me for it, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. I feel that. I, I'm on the fence of, I don't I don't particularly care that much, simply because I'm always like, if you're in a, if you're in a competitive setting, you know, you paid money to enter, do what you got to do to get the W. Like, just understand... You're not providing the viewers entertainment, so they're not going to provide you with the support or adoration that you might want in return. You know, you, you choose yeah. that path willingly. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. But don't bitch about what comes along with it. Just try and yeah. get your bread, and that's it. There's people out here, like, Nairo, I mean, not Nairo, DeBuzz used to eat, he had to eat fucking negativity about his gameplay play all the time. Years Just and years, yeah. For years, yeah. years. And, and DeBuzz is a stand-up dude, man. Like, that's my guy, you know what I'm saying? So it sucks that, like, that's how he was seen because he he learned how to play the game defensively and it worked for him. But I don't think the Buzz ever spent the time to be like, yeah, man, I'm playing defensive because defense, you know what I'm saying, is deep. It's deep. It's well, deep. It's realer than rap. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, shut up, bro. I feel like the Buzz is one of those dudes that, like, he's sort of like Esam. He's like, yeah, this is stupid. That's why I'm doing it. You know, like, Esam isn't like, oh, well, Pikachu is is really bad but i'm just really good P- Debu- esam's like no pikachu's dumb and that's why i'm using him because he's really strong yep. i feel like the buzz is the same way he's like yeah that's the reason i'm throwing 50 smash attacks because i can do something about it and i think that's the right attitude to have but i agree it's like i don't mind you playing like that because that's yeah. what the character is designed for you pay money to get in try to get a win but the problem is I don't like it when people, and I'm not saying you too slow was doing this because he wasn't. I don't think mm-hmm. in the tweet, but like, don't play for sympathy. Like, mm-hmm. oh man, all these people hate me because I do that. Yeah, it's stupid that people hate you, and a lot of people take it too far. Some people like wish death upon people whose play style they mm-hmm. don't like, which is kind of weird. Why. That's kind of weird. Much, yeah. But a like, much. <laughs> you're not entitled for people to cheer you. That's the thing I think oh, that makes me the maddest is because like everybody acts like they're everybody thinks they're the protagonist in an anime dude i swear to god everybody thinks that they're the hero and they're who's the guy from ping pong like that's the character that everybody wants to be i I, pico is that it i don't know i never saw it but everybody wants to be the protagonist and everybody cheers them no matter how they play um it's weird dude like it's fine just play your game um yeah and i i think that's what it comes down to is like there's nothing wrong with it. Just know what you're doing, you know? Yeah. Cappuccino so. says, I don't think Yoshi Slow was looking for something in return. He was just explaining, but I, I don't feel like the explanation was necessary. Like, you could have just went on about your day. Like, I don't think anyone is. Man, I wonder why Sonic's play like that. No one is, like, really mm. sitting here pondering why people are playing, uh, you know, playing lame. You know no, I, I, just, I think that they I, need I, that. I don't see it, though, because, like, I, it's. I do. I, I, maybe, maybe if you're, like, maybe if you're, like, super super new to the game and someone needs to explain to you the reason why sonic's playing so lame is because his offensive options are not that great or whatever yeah so all right sick whatever that's done but for the most people that are going to watch that clip for for his for his like you know his viewership or whatever they're mostly already smashers so no one needs to like be talked to like a baby about why you're camping we have seen enough sonic tournaments you know uh we've seen enough well we've seen enough not something we've seen enough uh defensive play just in general so i don't really i don't really get it i think people are going to say dumb shit regardless sure uh about him that's going to happen because that's just how smashers be mm-hmm. um but j- just to me the tweet just seemed unnecessary and honestly i feel like the biggest thing that he got off that tweet was a bunch of interactions i quote tweeted it oh, Seven thousand yeah. other people quote t- re- uh quote uh tweeted it and all i said was like this this isn't going to make anything different like you're still playing Sonic. People still don't want to see this type of gameplay. People want to see exciting shit. That's what a, a spectator wants to see. They don't have to understand it. They just want to see exciting shit. And watching two people stand on different sides of the stage is not exciting. Especially when you're behind. So, like, I can't mm. even put the full blame on him. Chag is an idiot for uh, approaching. He could have just played the platforms. But um, but that's, like, the way that Sonic plays, can, he can play like that ahead or behind now. That's the only thing that tweet showed me is that even if he's behind sure. or he's ahead, he can still uh, dictate the pace of the match. So, yeah, I feel that. And um, I, I, though I do like that point you made, uh, you brought up TK about engagements. I think that is kind of like maybe that's what he was just going for. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like the Smasher version of like how a lot of E thotties are like, "Hey, you're below me. You don't deserve to live if you don't sub to me." You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's just kind of like, "All right, well, 
if I can get some engagements and some attention through hate, maybe I can build myself further than that. So that's big know, brain I, play. I, I can't do it, bro. I don't know how people do that, man. Y'all, y'all stronger than me, bro. Very strong mental energy. It's not Meet those notifications. No, it's not that hard because it people stop after a week. Like that's yeah. the thing, people. You only have to endure it for a week, and and people who enjoy that shit will stick around. Everybody else is gonna move on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Wait, let me get this like, straight though. Let me get this straight though. What? That was a friendly. I thought I thought it was tournament. Somebody said it was tournament. I don't know. Chat was that a friendly or is that tournament? I don't know. I need to know. I that uh, was a friendly. Like I don't like that dude anymore. <laughs> even more now. <laughs> Imagine sitting down. Nobody knows they're saying it's both. Okay. Oh, so Imagine sitting down on a friendly and just be like, yeah, I need to work on my timeout. Like, <laughs> That's why nobody plays, like, ICs. Like, you don't play ICs and friendlies. That's not fun. You know, come on. Um, one. So one of the funniest things about that is, uh, and, and I'm sure you guys already know this, and uh, anybody that hasn't seen the tweet, somebody asked him, like, in a reply under the tweet, and they said, uh, why do you do this? Do you even have fun when you play? And he said... No. <laughs> I was like, you know what? He's honest. I kind of fuck with that. I got to fuck with that. Because, like, he's honest. Yeah. He's just playing the game how he plays it the best and why he wants to win. He's trying to win money. It's a little misguided to me because if you're not having fun, why couldn't you go not have fun in Fortnite? Go not have fun in a game. You can make a lot more money, but whatever. Uh, I But I, I kind of dig it. I figure he was dicking around. And he was probably not 100% serious, but it was very funny. It was it was good. Um, I, now that we're on the subject of Sonic too, I saw that Supergirl Kells actually tagged us in a video about Sonic, and I feel bad for her because like I've never had an issue with her Sonic. She actually does like fight. Ah, uh, people love her. She's fine. Yeah, but like I feel like because now all the Sonic hate is coming out, that she feels like she has to make a statement. But I I think that your statement is not going to help the other Sonics who are continuing to play the way they're going to play like no you're the one sonic that wants to approach but all 19 other sonics are going to camp so you can't be like sonic's dope bro look at this and then we're going to be like yeah well it looks like sonic's dope because like the other 19 examples are not going to do what you're doing so i just i don't know man yeah, it's tough it's it's yeah it's a tough I feel bad for she didn't have to make the video and i did watch it and it was good but uh i don't know man it's they need it's, um they need six WX well. back too. That's what they need. Six WX. Oh yeah. Yeah smooth. man. Smooth WX. I think he plays uh. I think he plays Incineroar now or Robin or something. Like he's off mm-hmm. Sonic. Um, I I I I hear what you were saying, TK, about like people having seen it a lot. But I am consistently amazed by the stuff people don't know and Ultimate. Mm-hmm. And I a part of me feels like this might be a lot of people's first time be- seeing Sonic. Like, online Sonic. You know what, you know what yeah. I mean? Okay. So, like, I a lot of people that. probably haven't even seen, like, timeout gameplay. And if they have, it's been Wrath. And they're like, okay, well, Wrath is up the whole game. I get why he isn't approaching. That's kind of lame. But if they see somebody appro- or not approaching when down, it's like, oh, well, maybe this is why they do it. So, mm-hmm. I, I ju- I'm just trying to play devil's advocate because, like, I don't know about you guys. I have a very warped sense of the community after, like you know us spending 10 years i'm always surprised when people don't know about the u-haul story a lot of people don't <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seriously i'm always like wait you don't know about that dude that was like eight years ago like i i'm surprised when people don't know about smash 4 lore so many people in the community now do not know what civil war is like the biggest tournament okay. in smash 4 yeah, right. you know what i mean no. like okay. I, I it's I a weird thing that i did forget that there's a lot of new players there's a lot of people who i've actually met who said this is the first game so, i yeah, forget no, it a I lot it. dude okay but it, it's also, I, I don't know, man. I think it's because I've played games so long that I do forget that there are people me too. who have not played yeah. games as long as me. So, like, I can see lame in any game. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I can see, like, in any fighting game, I can see lame. Even That's if a I good don't point. Yeah, game, yeah, yeah. I can just be like, okay, well, it seems like this guy is committing to not fighting. Like, I could watch a Street Fight. I could watch a Mortal Kombat game. I don't I don't follow Mortal Kombat. You know what I'm saying? I don't follow it at all. But I could, if I'm watching... And one person was playing super defensive, and one person was trying to get in the entire time. That's easily recognizable for me because I'm so used to just seeing fighting games. Right. But that's not everyone. So, yeah, I guess I got to take that into uh, account. Once you're in it enough, you can kind of speak the language of it. Or, like, there's, like, a fighting game literacy. It's kind of like rhythm games where, like, even if you don't play a rhythm game, you see what's happening. You're like, okay, I play DDR or Beat Mania or something enough to, like, see what's going on here. Um, 
I think it's kind of like that. When you see a fighting game, it's like, all right, I can see the health bars. I can see the rounds. I, t I can tell what's going on here. But for a lot of people, Smash is their first fighting game, so it's like they don't get it. Um, but yeah. yeah, I agree. It's a super hard thing for me to remember. <laughs> like, oh, you guys just are brand new. You don't know anything about <laughs> this. So you're just yeah. playing this game because you like Kirby, you know? Like, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Just, I like Air Ride, and I saw Ultimate, and Kirby is an Ultimate. So basically. Ultimate. <laughs> Goes hand in hand. It's basically oh, it. Man. All right, fellas. Yeah. Uh, really nothing else for us to talk about this week. It's been kind of a slow week, and I don't think anything's – I think Collision, is that happening this weekend, you said, Phil? Uh, I don't think it's this weekend. I think it's next weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Chat, correct Maybe. me if I'm wrong, but I know it's like Collision – Quarantine series and then Knife of Wars War is happening this weekend too. Kni right. Knife of Wars is this weekend, yeah. and then like the European yeah. uh, quarantine series is like June six. Yeah. So, so yeah. Cool. So uh, we're gonna open up the chat questions, guys. Hit us up. Hashtag Blast Zone. We'll be doing these for a little bit. Ask us anything you want to know. It doesn't have to be Smash related. You guys ask us anything we want. We don't care. We would prefer if sure. it wasn't Smash related, bro. Make it interesting, please. All right. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more discerning because we get a lot more questions than we used to, so I don't think we're going to answer everything. So if your question yeah. sucks, I'm going to skip it. Uh, please don't take it personally. Um, Sorry. The problem is we, we read these every week. So, like, you don't know. You know, it's not your fault. But, uh, okay. Sorry, just, okay. Here we go. Uh, all right, here we go. This is a good one. Bambi. Bambi says, oh, hold on. Blingus has a question in the chat, and I have to answer this right away. I have a Shaq-related question. Who would win in a 100-meter foot race? Shaq, Andre the Giant, Genghis Khan, or Discord resident Kyler? Shaq would win, right? I don't know, man. Kyler got some some heat, bro. Kyler fast? He fast, bro. But yeah, but, mm. like, Shaq would take giant slides, strides, bro. Like, Yeah, but it looked like he, he probably got a, bro, I mean... Your strides are nice, sure, but, like, he might not be that fast. That's a lot of weight to move. How tall is Kyler? Uh, Bro, the chat, the chat is firmly in Kyler's court. Like, people... I don't know who Kyler is. That's my boy. Kyler is 8 feet. Okay, well, then, there you go. 4'10", bro. Yeah, Kyler wins. Kyler wins. All right, 4'10". <laughs> Just Bugsy Bogues. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bambi asks, do you think Mario is top five in the game at low level? He feels busted because he can mash in his true kill combos from throws. Not top five, but maybe top ten. Yeah. You know? I, I think if Mario is not top 15 in your, in your tier list, I'm just not going to read it. That, like, I don't care where he is in between one and 15, but if he's not in top 15, I don't, I'm not going to read it. Yeah, I feel that. I feel like Mario... In my, so, the thing with Mario is I think he's, like, firmly in either the ninth or 10th spot, and I think it would be more of a consensus if more top players elected to pick him up and use him almost, like, as a counterpick character. Because the, the character's actually insane, and I think if you just play, like... The, the people who just play godlike neutral and shit like that, like, they can just... They would just wreak, ha wreak havoc with that character. Mm -hmm. And I think I think he's still got a, a lot more potential uh, to be shown. But we, but we know how good he is. Like, it's just more people have to commit to playing him. And it's not hard to play him either. That's the thing I don't understand. Like, I'm actually surprised, like, I don't see a Nairo playing that character more often. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think that would have to help him a lot in some of those matchups. Like, especially with shorter characters that Palu can struggle with sometimes. Sure. Uh, Luke Snywalker asks, Corrin notably has some of the worst results of any Smash Ultimate character. Do you think she needs buffs or is she just underrepped? Um, I don't know. I just feel like she was a one-note character in the last game. Everything's about pin. And now she doesn't have pin, so mm. what's your new thing? Mm. She doesn't have something. Uh, I think I think I think corn. I, honestly, I think corn is actually pretty fine. Um, mm. Yeah, pin, pin did not need to be as annoying as it was, so I'm glad that they nerfed it. Uh, if they were to give her some buffs, maybe it would be to her other B moves. I don't know, but mm -hmm. other than that, yeah, I think I think pin needed to not be as annoying as it was. It was stupid. And uh, but she still has all the other stuff she has from fucking. Um, Smash Four. Her, her nair is still unpunishable. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like, you still combo up uh, very easily. So, I don't know. I mean, most characters have like in this game have something that just have something you know, kind of helps them be viable. I don't think I, I think her getting like some semblance of how impactful that pin was from Smash Four, like in Ultimate, I think that'd be actually great for the character. 
Um, like, I mean, every character needs something in, in a roster this big, and I just feel like she has... I have no reason to pick this character ever at all if I'm trying to win a game right now. So yeah. I need she needs something to give me a reason to pick her. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point because, like, even Mario, who we were talking about before, like, one up air near the side of the stage, you might die at, like, 50. It's like mm-hmm. every character has something like that in this game. Uh, trap naps. This is a good question. Why are we still doing this in Lilat mess? Why are people still no. picking Lilat? Why is Lilat still... that? I, I genuinely think because it hasn't happened in a big top eight. That's my que- that's my answer because I feel like everybody posts clips of like people dying off the side. It did happen to DeBuzz during that Georgia tournament with Cola, but nobody really watched that. Nobody cared, you know. If that <laughs> he happened, got swept under the rug. <laughs> yeah, like if that happened at the top eight of Genesis, you know what I mean? That's like that's not happening. It's over. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just think it hasn't happened at a big enough sort of uh, big enough. Uh, venue, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, but Lala's always been, yeah, I always been Lala in Smashville, regardless of who I'm playing against. I don't like Smashville because the platform doesn't move and it's very annoying. And most people who pick Smashville are trying to camp you anyway. Um, and then Lala just is not a nice stage. So yeah, yeah, I just, uh, I feel like the reason why Lala is still being played is because there are so many Lala advocates that will. Play Lilac Name it just to, to have it in rotation. Mm-hmm. So that sucks, but it is what it is. Somebody, a TO just like a TO at a national level event just has to have the just has to just says just has to say okay, you know what, we're gonna try something different. That's it. Yeah. Like take it off the stage list, replace it with something else, and just see how it goes. Because there are other viable stages. It's not like there's a lot. Wow, that's the end all be all. Like I don't understand. Like why are we? You know, we discussed this before, but why isn't Warrior where? getting an opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Fragged Orphean, like, there's there's other fun stages yeah. you can try that perhaps don't have that level of jank, which can be very, very frustrating for people. This is, like, the you official know. WarioWare and well, Frigate. Well, to Scott I in guess. the chat, he said something about, you know, there being a 50-50 split for and against it. Well, Scott, just say, fuck it, I'm going to do my own thing. Do the other you do 50. that all the time anyway, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you got the you got the stroke. You got the pull to do that. Come on now. Yeah, what the hell is this glass half full, glass half empty shit, Let's bro. go, baby. You got this. Pick the side. And the half full side, if you want to be optimistic, it's the band lilac. Free. Anyway. We're going to glitch anyway. It don't matter. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Come on. Uh, so firepower as or oh. firepower easy. Sorry if Yo, I can got you Can you unmod him so I can ban him? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'll do that. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody had a good point. Uh, if that happened to Nairo... It would be over. And I agree. <laughs> if Nairo didn't grab the ledge, he mm-hmm. would mobilize his, his fan base so fast, the Naifu yeah. Nation would not let that stand. That's a very good point. It depends on who you are. It, it, yeah. It's a fact. That's life. Hexeteris well, Nairo's an interesting, interesting dude, by the way. Before we get into our next uh, question, uh-huh. I just, at, at Genesis, I guess, I, I don't know if I was the only person he talked to before he dipped, but when he lost to whoever to go into the losers. Esam, right? Or Esam and losers. Esam? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was sitting outside the stage, and he walked up to me, and he tapped me on the shoulder. He was like, uh, he's like, I'll see you next time. I'm fucking leaving. And I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, he's like, I don't complain anymore. And I was like, oh, all right, man, I, I'll catch you. And then he left, and so I went over to Parrot, and I was like, is he coming back? Like, <laughs> like he can still get in the top eight. <laughs> yeah. That's right, kill me, bro. But, like, I get it. Like, I understand. Like, I'm sure that he was feeling some type of way about losing to East Salmon. Competitive spirit, man. Nairo, sure. you know, he's got a lot better from when he was younger. He used to rage, rage, but he's got a lot better when he's younger, and it's kind of like stifled it. But I just was not expecting me to be the guy that he walked up to. Of all to people, TK, I yeah. need to tell you this specifically. <laughs> that drink killed me, bro. Uh, oh man. And then what happened to him with gluttony? That's tragic. Like he was winning, and then he just got clapped once, and then he died. That's sad. Yeah. Imagine how it feels to lose to East. <laughs> That's a good point, dude, because Esam's, like, having a good time, and he's joking, and he's just beating your ass, and you're just sad. Like, and then he's on, not, and then he's on stage talking about how nice and busted and godlike he is. <laughs> and he's like, fuck. E- Esam's a tough person to lose to just because of his demeanor. Like, he's not, like, malicious with it. It's just, like, it's just one of those moments where, like, I don't want to hear your shit right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you it, can't do anything about it when you're just losing. Yeah, it's fine normally, but, like, when you're, when you're out thousands of dollars in the top eight set, and he's, like... Making the Wojak faces at you, are like, God, God damn it. Like, yeah. I'm so sick. The of worst it. is, like, he'll compliment you, like, wow, that was so good. And, like, <laughs> he's 
so funny, dude. He's, he's very funny like dude. him and I played in, in icons at SmashCon, and like he's so like I had to have my headphones on because like usually I'm like that in friendlies, but I'm trying to win money, and like he just keeps looking at me after every good combo either of us do. Like he's mm -hmm. just very positive. He's he's a very good guy. Um, etc. is a good question. What's a dead joke that you guys miss doing the most while on commentary? You guys have anything that comes to mind? Uh, dead joke. Like a joke that you guys wish you could do more on commentary, or like a like something that you can't. Okay, fine. I'll answer first. Wait, I wish. Wait, I, have it. I wish wait, I could what? still do like impressions or goofy voices on the mic. I feel like I can't do that anymore because. Now it's just a white guy doing, like, an accent, and I could get in trouble. Well, I mean, if you do white people accents. Yeah, but that's not, like... Oh, oh so you want to you wanna be a nigga. That's no, I, I don't... <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, hey, hold on. Hold on. That's what, that's what I'm hearing right now. Hold okay, on. Like you, can't, you can't be French. You can't be, do English accents. <laughs> you can't do... But, oh, oh, no, oh you're I right, can't you're right, be... You're right. No, <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. No, French, I thought when you said white people accents... I was thinking, I was thinking like California, dude, and I'm like, that's not funny. But you're right, Italian accents, hilarious. French, accent, you're right, you're right, uh, you're right on that. He's like, I, I can't be over that. here with the. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. To be oh, clear, no. I would never do that. Well, Cody, is that really above your line? I mean, didn't you once call TK a slave or something? Yeah, something what? Like, I'm your property. Like, oh, I said he was my I'm property. I'm not sure That's where not your the line same. is, That's bro. I'm gonna keep it real. I did, he was an he was an indentured servant for one thing. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, so I'll, okay. That's better. True. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I implied, just to be clear, I implied. <laughs> Well, actually, the, the funny thing is, though, you will still do urban ac ac uh, access, though. Whatever we were talking about. Uh, when we were playing uh, Streets of Rage. Oh, we well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Trying to find the ways, B. The ways, B. Got to study oh, the show ways. Yeah, oh, I, but, but the ways. Yeah, but the point is... <laughs> You're right about white people accents. They're very funny. I was thinking you about American white I think people you could accents. Definitely stay, right. Cause I can't do it. I don't know why. I, you have to teach me how to do accents. I feel like all my accents end up deriv uh, deriving down to almost like a Haitian accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like French, Haitian, English, Haitian. Have you guys ever tried to do an accent? There was one stream recently where I tried to do a French accent and my brain forgot how it goes. So like I literally it wasn't coming to me. So I don't know. It was it was fun. Anyway, that's that's my example. Do you guys have anything like uh, uh like an accent or I, I wish I could make more race jokes about the Luma colors. Mm. But I but I know that someone eventually is gonna get offended, so sure. I can't do that as much. Uh also, uh Yeet almost died for a bit because of that one fucking uh tweet from Anti where he was all like back throw lands and then it was like yeet but it was like that nerdy ass kid and i was like oh yeah <laughs> yeah i, I forgot almost about that. died he wasn't that powerful though he's close <laughs> i don't have one i can't think i mean i you know i feel like i can't be as inappropriate anymore that's one thing i kind of miss and not like in the sense of like saying like bad words but more like jokes i find funny that i know other people find funny too but it's like if you say it, oh my god, somebody's gonna tweet about it. Yeah. Your most famous clip is looking at someone's ass. What are you well, talking about? First of all, I wasn't what looking. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was not looking at her ass. I literally had a momentary lapse in judgment on what I was gonna say. At that exact moment. Yes. That the ass came by. Listen. What a coincidence. I have hmm. a girlfriend whom I love, and I yeah, and that's fine. And you had you didn't at the time though. So it's fine. Like we're we're talking about the history, okay? All right, I was looking. Okay, I'm fine. Y'all want to know the truth? Listen, okay? I'm sitting there. Okay, I'm sitting there commentating, signing off for whatever. Okay, and two Christmas hands walk by. Okay, all right. I might have took a look. Okay, it doesn't negate the fact that that's my friend. I have nothing but respect for them. Of course, that's not changing. Okay, I have a girlfriend whom I love. I'm good on that front. But yes, okay, I got caught slipping one time. All right, it, there you go. Uh, I wouldn't say it was slipping. I mean, it, it, it is nice. Like, I mean, I'm not going to lie and say it's not nice. I didn't seen it before. But what I'm saying is you can't be like, yeah, I don't play the, I don't play the, uh, I, you know, I can't be, I can't be out here being inter un inappropriate anymore. Bro, what do you mean? That is your brand, bro. You always, you always play the line. No, the no, line no. It always but moves with you. That, yeah, that's the whole point is EE's whole thing is like, 
towing the line. But if the line gets moved back, he has to tow here now. You yeah, know, he, like I he mean, can't. He, but he, I think he moves the line wherever he wants it to be. Bro. No, no, he I, can't get. Phil can't I mean, get I away with the same stuff shit that, that he, he has to. not said. Not, but, there's stuff I definitely wouldn't tread on. There's shit, yeah, yeah, there's shit he couldn't get away with now. I don't think. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I don't like this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying for he, for like he 10 runs, I'm I'm just saying he runs the line. He is the line dictator. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. I'm just saying the line got moved back and he moved back with it. He does not step mm-hmm. over it. He's like he's it's it's like it's like the ocean and like the tide is coming in and he's he's not touching the water. You know what I mean? It's like he's moving with it. That's all. All right. Uh <laughs> Dave, that's a dope question. I'm sorry. I can't answer that for you. Uh Another dope, a lot of dope questions. Chat, chat me, y'all, y'all always trying to put it on me, bro. Let me tell you what I was looking at. I was looking at EE. E. No, you know what happened? So I saw her coming by on the camera, and I could see. I I know EE e. set up way too well. <laughs> I saw her come by on the camera. I looked directly at EE, e. and I knew as soon as she passed, he was gonna do something. And that's as soon as he did that thing, what he did, and I kept talking. That's why I was like, oh my god, like the the setup was so easy. The setup was so easy. I was like, I seen her. I was like looking at the camera or like the monitor. I saw her walk by on the monitor. I was like, there's no way he's not going to do something about this. So I looked at EE. He looked over and I said, there you go. There you go, bro. Y'all are trying to put it on me, bro. I know what I was doing. All right. So I want to, I want to, I want to <laughs> call out a question so people know what's dope. Um, so when a question is dope, it means that we are not interested in answering it. And it's because the question either would take too long, or it's not interesting. And I wanna, I wanna, because it's not your fault, right? You just wanted to ask a question, but I wanted to give an example so people know the stuff we don't really care to talk about. This one is, someone asked, "What are your top five best character alts and the worst five? That's that's dope. That's, that's a dope question. That's dope. Sorry, dope. buddy. Not interesting. Maximum dope. Sorry. Maybe on individual streams. Maybe on individual not streams, absolutely. Not even that. No. Not even that. <laughs> I like pur- I like purple <laughs> skins and I normally don't like mm, I don't know green skins normally. Yeah, because then we're gonna have to like I'm not I'm not looking because you know what's gonna happen is we're gonna give our top five. What about this one? I didn't think I didn't think about that one. Sorry, there's like 800 in the game. All right. Um, I do need I do need that uh, that's dope emote. I'm gonna make that. It's gonna be it's gonna be in Times New Roman. <laughs> 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 That's dope. Ian Small says, "What is it about Deep Leffen Bot that makes it so much better than all the other bots? If it was the exact same post but disconnected from Leffen, would it still be nearly as great?" Have you guys seen Deep Leffen Bot? Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty. I think that account's pretty hair. It's like existential Wizro. They're just humorous tweets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Deep Leffen Bot is so fucking funny. Uh, I think it's because the person that that because obviously it's curated, right? Like the bot says a bunch of stuff and then you have to pick out the good stuff i think the person who runs the bot is just very funny like because he has to pick out the best stuff and i think that whenever you have an account like that they're gonna have some misses but that account has like no misses because the guy who's running it is just like Mm -hmm. he's he's fucking hilarious so he picks out the good ones if it was the same post but disconnected from leffen would it be as great not really because it's in leffen's voice like yeah that's the whole point of it yeah and it's just it has to be that so yeah like, you can hear it in his voice. You know what I mean? Like, when you're reading, you can literally right. hear it in his voice. So, I mean, it would be it would be funny if you could, like, recontextualize it. If you're, like, like number one... If, if, the, if the Twitter was, like... It has to be a good player. So, if it's, like, somebody nobody's ever heard of. So, it's, like, number one player from Kansas or something. You know what I mean? And then, like, it had the same tweets. It'd be really funny. But there's a way to... There's a way to... But it's funnier with the Leffen thing, so, yeah. Aqua says, you can fight anybody from history. Who do you fight? I'm personally going to pick Gandhi. Easy win. You can fight any uh, person from history. You have to win. Uh, I'll fight Napoleon. Bro, he... he no, With no on. guns? No guns? He Just fish fight? <sighs> I'll beat his ass. You think so? Somebody ah, said dude, Anne Frank. You... Okay, buddy. All right. Oh, Jesus. That's she had it. <laughs> she, she had it hard enough. Okay. Like, I'll take Ivan the, the terrible because I just don't like what he did to those people. What did he do? Oh my god. He was like one of the leaders of the the Holocaust camps. He, he tortured a lot of people. 
Ivan the Terrible? <laughs> My man, Dr. P says Stevie yeah. Wonder right now. <laughs> He's a terrible individual. I think... I don't... Are you... Are you thinking of Goebbels? <laughs> no, Ivan the Terrible. It's, an, it's literally a Netflix documentary. I watched it last week. Oh, yeah, but... But Ivan the Terrible... Well, that, they thought it was Ivan the Ter Either way, it was the guy who was in charge of that camp who was just doing horrific things. And the documentary was... You know what? Fuck y'all. I'm going next so right off no, 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 no. Just wait. Just wait. No, forward. we're not doing this. We're not I'll doing fight, this this I'll fight Ben Laden when he was on the respirator. <laughs> Square up, bro. In the cave? <laughs> The Devil Next Door. In 1986, an unassuming Cleveland grandfather and auto worker is accused of being Ivan the Terrible, a brutal Nazi death camp guard. That is whom I was referring oh. to. Oh. Okay, okay. So Ivan the Terrible is like the name of like a czar from the 1200s. But you're, it's a different guy. Okay, got you. Got, it's not the Ivan the Terrible. Okay. All right, all right. We're good. We're good. He was right on this one. It's fact. Wow, that's that. Can we clap it up for EB? E clap right it up. About clap it up. What the? You a very to compelling the documentary. I was very passionate Proud about of you. that answer. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Let me just... Was Napoleon even short? Even short? I thought that was like I a thought meme. that was like a meme. Here you go. I got you, bro. That's for you. Well done. <laughs> we got we one, got boys. We got, we got one. one. I don't think you want to fight Gandhi either, because like he's not going to fight you anyway. That's a no contest. Napoleon is average height, so he's 5'9", just like me. Uh, oh. average height is five ten. No, well, no, no. Uh, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'd rather see buffs than one. Uh, bro, the it says he was five six. He was five six. Oh, 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 oh tiny ass. <laughs> Yo, George Washington was six two though. Okay, George Washington. Damn, George. Damn, daddy. That's my boy. Cross my Delaware. Thunder Age says legalize warrior wear. Castle siege warrior wear. One hundred percent. Warrior no Yep, question. yep, yep. Easy. That character, that, that stage is nice. Uh, actually, legalized Wario, where is the next question? Do you think there's any credit for hazards on stages, Smashville Town, Fountain? Should we change the timer at all? I think we need to retry hazard on... But th that's the thing. We don't need to try anything, because the metagame's in a fine spot. So, like, you don't need yeah. to do anything. But the thing is, Bro, I think the, we the need to do hazards on stages. I want it back. The game just, the game just really missed one mark of making hazard on and off a button toggle. Yes, like, that is just that this game would have been the stage list would have been so easy to do if that was the case. But oh yeah, well. I agree. Yeah, it's it's too hard. Like that's gonna happen in a top eight somewhere, and people aren't gonna notice until halfway through the match that the Smashville platform isn't moving. Like well, you, that that one's easy, but it, there are other the, ones. It's the, like the it's like the the um, Pokemon Stadium one, like. If we play Smash oh, Bill, yeah, yeah. Hazards on, uh, first game, all right, we're, whatever, platform's moving sick, got it done, right? And then second game, you know, they're all ramped up, they're not thinking about it, they go into Hazards on uh, Pokemon Stadium, about a minute past before no, we even whoop, realize whoop. that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> oh. That's a good point. Um, Yeah, that I, I don't know if you can do that, especially if, like, the weird stages were on, so EE e. and I really want Frigate on, but, like, Frigate yes. has to be hazards off, I think. Because, like, mm -hmm. the flip is probably too much. Um, but if you had it on, that would kind of mess stuff up. So, yeah. Um, about the timer, changing the timer, that's a bigger debate, dude. Like, I don't want to have that discussion. Well, we talked about it on hard reads. I don't really think that's going to help. Like, you change, change the timer up uh, to, like, eight minutes. People are still going to uh, camp. People are still going to camp. You have, to, you have to change the timer to, to something super arbitrary, like 15 minutes. And then if we were actually to sit through a 15-minute game with someone timing out, I'd be even more upset. Yeah. But if you change it down, what regardless of what people think is going to happen, uh, it's just going to lead to more timeouts. Yes. Like, I don't, if, if the timer is three minutes, three stocks, after I get one stock, I'm running away for the next two minutes for sure. Like, or a minute and a half or whatever it's going to take. So, Do you yeah. guys remember that... Um the first game of Tweak versus Bestness over the weekend. I think it was winner's finals where, like, they're fighting, but it's still taking forever. Like, they're yeah, not... Yeah, on Battlefield, right? You remember Hallie? that, yeah. Like, they are yeah. not camping, but it still takes forever. Weird. If that had a six-minute timer, that would have been a timeout. Like, yeah, and, and they're weird. not even trying to camp. So, I think it's a... I think it's a delicate thing. Um, and people think there's an answer. There isn't really a clear-cut answer. So. Uh, Horace... Uh, I'm not gonna... 
Uh, well, maybe you guys will have an answer for this. Horace Pipe Jr., if you had to wear one outfit every day for the rest of your life, what would you do? Die. <laughs> Die? I love clothes, man. Hello? All right. But if you had to pick one. If I had to pick one? Mm, uh, it'd probably be joggers and my own logoed sweater and some Adidas. I do a I do a Nike track shoot uh, track suit with some uh, retro J's or something. I don't know. That's you know that's tough. I don't freaking. That's know a that. hard question. I would have to move because I want to wear basketball shorts and like a light hoodie. Like that's you know <laughs> so I can't and I can't do the cold. I fucking hate the cold. So I would not have be able to live here. Uh, TRW, what ultimate character do you think is low key sick that the rest of the community believes is lame? I like Pac Man, bro. Pac Man. Pac Man's dope. Uh. All right, you don't have an answer. All right. Sonic. So okay, bro. You don't mean that. Okay. All right. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> uh. Burt Miller. Real answer. Real answer. Rob. Real answer. Rob. Oh, come on. Rob's you cool. definitely don't mean that. That's disgusting. <laughs> well, I like Rob. He's cool. Okay, buddy. Burt Miller says thoughts on other ways to keep online tourneys fresh, like the all random tournament coming up. Any other spicy gimmick ideas? Um, I think I love the idea of more like weird tournaments because I think people are gonna get madder and madder and saltier and saltier over time if we keep doing the normal tournaments. I love the random tournament. Um, I mean items are good. I'm fine with items. I'm fine with trying. I I actually, I didn't really think about this, but maybe this would be a perfect time to try wacky stages, dude. Like Wario yes, Warfare. Yes, like, say. Let's just, let's Big try time. it. Like, let's see how it goes, you know? Big time. I'd love to see that. Um, I think that, that that's for me. It, you know, I don't mind items at all. I really don't. Mm -hmm. um, but I think either the stages would be cool or tournaments where you have that meter that you can fill up through combat. Yeah. You know, for mm -hmm. the final smash. I think that'd be kind of interesting, too. Because uh, I always thought that would be a good idea since Smash 4 and actually implemented in this game. So seeing a bracket like that, obviously some characters are going to get it easier and faster than others, have better all fin final finishes. But uh, that's that's just the meta for that particular uh, way of play. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Sure. Bro, can we flash back to the fact that people are really trying to advocate for this meter smash shit when the game first came out? I'm, I'm so glad that I got fucking nixed. I was like, you idiots. Like, it's still a final smash. It's not a super. You cannot compare these two. Uh, Street Fighter ass supers like you can block those you know what I'm saying you can't block a final smash more often than not and everyone was like yeah but like you can avoid them and then Zelda came out and then they were like never mind oh no <laughs> never mind my bad that Zelda was nasty yeah bro oh oh yeah oh you're you're at 50 percent doesn't matter where you're at come through <laughs> yeah I it's I've commentated a couple alpha rat events where like just Zelda you can't stop her like, you just get it 80, and then she just kills you from anywhere on the stage. It's nuts. Yep, yep. yep. Um, Stabby J wants to know, if there's one piece of advice for commentary that we, you would give to your former self, what would that be? P.S. I hope you're still holding to your word that I'm welcome to crash at your place one day, Coney. Absolutely, dude. Stabby J's a uh, commentator snake player from Australia. You are welcome anytime, dude. He just had a kid. Congratulations. Hey, congrats, dude. Yeah, very much so. Awesome. He, he's a really cool guy. Um... One piece of commentary advice that you would give to your former self. You guys have anything in mind? I would have never opened up an Ask FM. <laughs> really? That was yeah, so long ago. Was, Ask FM was around the time that uh, PM was super popular. Yeah. And uh, people, some people, I mean, uh, although I was the voice of PM, some people really did not like my commentary. So they would spend all their time just shit talking me about like my looks, about the fact that I stuttered, about you know all kind of random shit on uh, my Ask FM, and I never found out who it was, cause, or who they are, or who it, if it was one person or, or, or multiple people. But, uh, but yeah, that just, I had to read that during top eights and shit, because mm. I was, you know, I was thinking that people were going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, there's obviously people who came through were like, oh, yeah, can you tell me, help me with stuff about getting better with commentary and stuff? But it was like, oh, you're so ugly. Oh, your teeth are fucked up. Oh, why you stutter so much? How you even a commentator? Blah, blah, blah. And, like, back then, I was, like, way more sensitive than I am now. So that probably wasn't mm -hmm. uh, a good time. And that's why I was telling everybody I don't understand the point of Ask FM because, like, not only was I getting that, all those girls, like, all the girls, like, you know, when we had, right. like, less girls, but, like, the more prominent ones, like, Reese's and, like, Lil and, like, um, 
and and, and like uh, you know other other yep girls that have been around the scene for a while. Every time they will post their fucking Ask FM, it was someone shitting on them. Yeah, and I was like, why do you allow this? You know what I mean? Like, why why are we uh, giving people a platform to anonymously hate? So I just stopped doing that. I was like, there's if you want to hate on me, put your name on it, and then I will I'll like accept it. But if you're gonna hate on me behind uh, uh, anonymity, or you're gonna hate on me behind an anime profile uh, picture, then I don't fucking care anymore. If yeah. you can, if I can't. Like, if you come to me at a tournament and be like, yo, real shit, I really don't like your fucking commentary. I'm like, you know what? I respect that. But <laughs> I don't respect that. I'm like, get away from me, you fucking weirdo. I don't care what you think. What the fuck? Nah, Why I'm, do you think I'm, I care? I mean, fuck off. It doesn't matter because I'm about to go do top eight. But, like, I don't respect But, like, that. at least I can here. match a face with a name. Uh, or, or, you know, a name with a face instead of you just being some random, I don't know, Pikachu Master 5000. Like, oh, I hate this guy's commentary. And then I ask you why and you have no fucking... Uh, you have no fucking mm. reason why. You might as well just say because I'm black. Like, just put that. <laughs> wow. If you if you hate on someone and you have no like actual criticism, just just make it a race thing. Not me. in Smash commentary, bro. Like that's the, that can't be it. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. It, it could be it sometimes though, because some of those people who were like, you know, usually you know black commentators are like, all right, they're 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 Herald is the best. But all the black commentators are essentially the same shit. We joke a lot, and <laughs> and uh, I think there's a difference. We, Ah, we all joke a lot, except for Virum. Yeah, Virum's more serious, but, like... Except for Virum, bro. D I think it's a spectrum. I feel like D1 is, like, on one end, and Kitaro is on the other, and you two are in the middle, but TK is more on the D1 side, and EE's more on the Kitaro side. I think that's how, like, okay. that's how I envision it, you know what I mean? But we all joke, though. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. And, and depending on the combination that you put together, you know... Like, you're going to get those jokes. But when it's two white commentators, I feel like they're just trying to prove how much they know about the game. <laughs> no, no, like, no, like, no racial. I'm just, like, from being in the scene this long, that's what happens. It's just, like, two white commentators get up, and it's, like, a frame data off. And I'm like, why are y'all like this? Like, uh, <laughs> like, this is not what I wanted to get into. That moves eight frames. Actually, it's nine frames. Actually. <laughs> that's funny. The education station. <laughs> Smash House Rock. Just, it's like, welcome back to Genesis, where it took me exactly 400 frames to say this exact sentence. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> e.E., do you have anything you would tell your younger commentary self? Yeah, invest in FPS games and not Smash. What? Well, Damn. I guess. I feel that. Yeah. I, uh... I, the the commentary hate thing is weird, because I was watching the box, and, like, one of the things we can do is have the, have the chat up while we, while we, uh... While we're commentating. And there was one guy that, like, took everything I said and, like, would have a comment about it. Every single thing. And I'm like, who is that? Like, yeah, it's how really... Do you, how do you spend this much time hating on one person? It's really weird to me. Yeah, and it's like, and, like, if you don't like it, just leave, man. Like, it's just, it's very strange. And one guy made a Twitter to, like, to hit me up about something that I said. And it's like, I, there, was, uh, there was one guy that... Dur early in the top eight, I said the tweak was um, he he's he's usually pretty aggressive. Like he can play slower, but like he'll play like in your face with hitboxes and stuff. And that guy got so mad for the next hour, he just kept saying "wow." And Coney said tweak wasn't patient. Coney said tweak doesn't camp. It's like I didn't. That's weird, dude. <laughs> like that's really weird. Um, yeah, there's a lot of weirdos. I I genuinely like whenever I see something, if somebody doesn't like dislike, if somebody dislikes me or says something. Or I say something they don't like. I mean, I just, I, I'll be honest. I generally don't give a shit. Yeah. Because my broader audience is is way more awesome. It's way bigger. Like yeah. A yeah, couple yeah. of gyms getting tight about something because yeah, yeah. they're just mad that even before quarantine they weren't getting invited nowhere. So. Yeah. I, I actually like when someone hates now. I'll actually ask them why, and if they don't have a good answer, that like I'll be like, ah, interesting. There's a guy who actually followed my fucking Instagram. To hate on me, he was like, he commented on my last picture of like me and you, and where you took those pictures on long jackets, and he was like, "Man, I feel like your heart's just not in it anymore for this commentary, man. I feel like you just get up there, you think you're too cool to commentate. You should give up, uh, you should give it to other people like uh, who who actually want to commentate, whatever." He was like, "I feel like he's picking up all the slack. He seems like he's into it, whatever, whatever." And I was like, 
<laughs> I was like, what? And then he was like, yeah, man. I was like, he was like, I feel like when you get on, you don't even want to commentate. I was like, do you know EE gives up like 90% more blocks than I do? And he was like, what? Hey, 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 let's not. Hold on. Now. You do, let's though. Not. You do, though. You give up a lot of blocks. And it's not. Because I got to help the community oh, grow. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm not going to be here forever, baby. Sure, 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 sure. I'm here forever, baby. Sure, 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 sure. Help the community, whatever. Fuck get him, hazmat. Sure, 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 sure. Anyway, Tagging so I was like, I, I am the only, I'm probably like the only top eight commentator that will still actively work pools and be excited about it. Like, I love working come on, pools. Bro. Nah, you don't like working pools. Come I on. love working pools. Hello? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. With the come right on. people. All right, then. So, anyway, I love working pools because I feel like that's the best time that you get your best material. All right, you bro. get all your jokes out because you're not watching anything. Anyway, so, so then after I was like, you obviously haven't been watching the uh, the the scene because I'm I'm usually I don't ever really give up my blocks. I was like, if I give up my block, it's because, uh, yeah, I'm trying to give someone a chance. But I was like, more more often than not, like I'm trying to commentate when I I can commentate. So then after I said all that, he erased all his comments and was like, sorry man, I was going through some shit. Depression's a bitch. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh dude, that's all. There is one guy. There is one guy that uh and. I, I probably shouldn't share this story, but there was one guy that just kept hating on me and hating on me and hate. I was like, what the fuck is going on in this guy's life? His Reddit name is the same as his Twitter name, and he was going through a lot of shit, and he was balding at 28 and handling it very poorly. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, but they were having a bad time, and I'm like, all right, bro. Just a different Coney would, that's ammo. And I'm your. Oh, I've seen Mad Coney before. Yeah, I'm not a nice person. <laughs> you know what I'm talking. I'm about. I'm a very mean person. Like I I'm. Oh lord. I've been I'm I, a I think, very. I think you made I think you made that person delete their Twitter to be honest. I I I'm a very mean person, but I I I didn't do anything, but like, I don't get why the most fragile people make themselves the most visible. They just put their neck mm. out, and it's fascinating yeah, yeah. to me because like, I don't like. I, I, and I'm not saying this to like seem like a tough guy. I genuinely don't get my feelings hurt from people online because I don't know you. I don't, I don't know yeah. who you are. But it's fascinating to me that it's always the people who like are just the most vulnerable that just really want somebody to slap them down. It's really yeah. weird, dude. I it's don't know. Because like the thing is like we put ourselves out there, right? Because that's part of the job, right? So the only reason I feel like I get annoyed when people like are shitting on me or anyone. Is because, like, they would not be able to deal with the same shit that we have been able to deal with. Like, that's why it's easy for you mm. to get on Twitter and be like, I fucking hate this dude. Because, like, that's all the information you have out there. It's you, your Twitter name, and your anime profile pic. But I was like, if anyone, like, my, my one rule about shit talking me as far as my, like, looks or anything like that is if you are going to shit talk me, have your picture up so we can go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to know what you look like before you start talking about my looks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what I want to know. It's like, yo, this dude's so ugly. Meanwhile, you know what I'm saying? You over here looking like Dexter's lab. Fuck out of here. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, those are the people that I want to get at. But I'm, that's never going to happen. Everyone's so fine with, like, just sitting behind uh, a picture of Deku and then talking mad shit. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing. Sorry to go off on a tangent, but... It's always the commentary questions that we come alive for because, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like it has to be said. <laughs> it, well, it really does, and we don't get another spot where people get to do that. And like, it, we have so much pent up feeling that we don't get to express anywhere else. So, if you want the real conversation, ask us commentary questions. I, I worry that sometimes we get a little bit too like meta with it, but it's it's a lot of fun to talk about. Thank you, Stabby J, for the question. Calcador, I'm not going to answer this question, but I want you to know I see it, and I appreciate it, and I really enjoy it. It would take a very long time, but I, I, I love you all the same. Okay, uh, but let, me, let me hear the question, though. Well, it's... Okay. Come on, let me hear it. It's a long one. So, Calcador asks, if what Deep Leffenbot said was 100% factual, would you still play Smash? Here's an example to get your noggin jogging. And let's pretend this is 100% this is true. Why does every single Roy main smell like Butterfingers, coconut butter, baby oil, bath salts, lavender, almonds, vanilla, and cum? First off, take a shower, dude. Second, I posted a meme to Reddit a while back and could really use an upvote right about now. So, the Roy players smell like a lot of delicious things, and then also uh, ejaculate. And then also he posted a meme to Reddit. So, it's a very funny tweet. Well, now that we're on the subject of, of ejaculate, no, I just want to go ahead and throw this in here. I don't know if this is going on, on Twitter or not. It probably will, the YouTube or not. Do you kiss your girlfriend after you, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Do you do, you do it? 
Do you do it? Well, I don't have a girlfriend. I have a wife. So. Oh, your wife. Phil, how you about you? I mean. Phil, how about you? Yeah, come on. <laughs> nah, if a bitch, you better rush, brush your teeth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's just in general. I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm just talking about in general. Wow. I'm just saying in general. <laughs> like, nah, bro. <laughs> how about you, TK? Huh? If she just went down on me and, you know, and takes it, you know, in, then yeah, I'll kiss her. We ain't gonna, like, deep make out and shit. I don't wanna, you know what I mean? But, like. No, sir. Not me. It's your. <laughs> it's from you. Not me. You saw it, bro. You saw it, bro. Mm. <laughs> what a question. What a question. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, my perspective anyway. my perspective is a little different, bro. I just had a kid, so like you know, that's things change when you're a parent. That's all I'll say. I don't. You know? How does that change? You know, you'll know when you're a dad. I'll just say that. Okay. The world is, is different. That, what is it different now? Like uh, I might get you pregnant through your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one billion anyway, little kids. Next, that are just, oh, poor things. Life snuffed out. Nick says, "How excited are you for the Tony Hawk remakes?" I don't know who's making them, dude. I was looking for that. Uh, I, I, if I can I'm, find out who made it, then I'm not excited because I'm kind of tired of remakes and not new all. ones. Yeah, like I, I don't. I'm tired of remakes in general. Like, mm. just I, I'm tired of playing remakes. Like, there's so many other ways to play all of the games that you're nostalgic about now. So I'm just I'm, mm. I'm over remakes. To be yep. honest. Yeah, I I think it's cool that Tony Hawk's kind of like trending again because I actually generally think Tony Hawk's a cool dude. Uh, the game, eh, I could take it or leave it. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's the guys that made the Crash Bandicoot remake. So that's cool. That's awesome. Good for them. Uh, I hope it's good. I It probably will be good, but they got they have to do something to change up the formula, too. Because, like, I went back and I played some Tony Hawk 1, and, like, there ain't shit to do. Like, it's like, you can finish a level in 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, it's, it's super quick, so... Michael Jack Fox said uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake was solid. That's different, though. Yeah, that's very it's different. Totally, Dude, it's like a different on. game. Like, yeah. Final Fantasy VII was a, a turn-based RPG. Final Fantasy VII Remake is an action RPG. And I never even played Final Fantasy VII, so I was definitely into a uh, remake. Yeah. But, yeah, like, if it's just, like, a straight-up, like, oh, we updated the graphics and added, like, one extra feature, I'm good on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to answer this quick because it's usually a dope question, but I do have an answer. Bowser says, what non-gaming character would you add to Smash? Reggie. That's it. I would love Reggie in Smash. What non-what? Uh, non-gaming character. Somebody not from I the video I want Reggie's game. final Smash for him to be, for him to say, that's it. That's all the time I've got. I've got to get back playing, uh, playing uh, you know, Animal Crossing on my uh, 3DS. And the 3DS is just in the background getting bigger and bigger <laughs> until it hits someone. It's like Jigs. But it has a hitbox. Like it, it, the 3DX like, makes it? an appearance. That's all the time I've got. I've got to get back to that. <laughs> I wish he said that and the game just ended. He was like, that's it. That's all the time I've got. I've got to get back. And you have to hit him while he's saying it. If you don't hit him before he finishes, it just goes, game. <laughs> he leaves. And he wins. I like that. Uh, Shafro Fos says, do you think Panda Global should make a PGR online edition? If so, who would you put in the top five? Not going to answer that second part. No, we should not make a PGR online edition because the second you start to invent incentivize this online stuff beyond, like, the money, I think it gives people a lot more reason to do shady shit. And already yep. we're kind of taking people at their word. Mm -hmm. Like, don't jiggle the cable, have good internet, play on LAN. Like, I, I feel like if you make it, like... Because let's say you're number one on the PGR, even if it is online. You're number one on the PGR. You could broker some good sponsorship deals. There's a reason for you to cheat. You could make a career off of beating top players in a mode that one isn't even the real mode until you cheated. So, like, I don't think that's a good idea. That's just me personally, though. Um, and plus those players who get ranked, you'll see a lot of them get a lot of... They'll probably get more negative attention than they want. That's a good point. That would be my, that would be my guess on that. That's a good point. Like, they... They're probably not ready for that, and and people are going to attack the people who get high, you know. So, um, please answer Lou's question. Lou's, I, I'm not, bro, I'm not clicking on this because I, it's, it's just, it's just a black screen. There's no video here, and it's just audio, and I don't know if it's porn. So I'm gonna skip that one. 
Just, I just, I saw it. I'm just going to say, I saw it. I'm not going to, I don't know what it is. Right. I'm going to leave it alone. It's not, hold on, let me, wait. Okay. That's, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lou. There's a, there's a voice thing online where you can, okay, never mind. All right, Jeremy says, what do you guys think of Gutex going full anti-vaxxer mode? He blames Bill Gates for the coronavirus to make profit. Is that true? What? What? <laughs> Gutex? I didn't know Gutex went down that. I, I knew Gutex recently had a video where he was, like, talking about how, like, he's given so much to the scene and now he feels like he's not getting anything back. And, like, he's he's had a hard time lately, but I didn't know he was, like... Down the Good thing to get royalties for all these all these champs, straight up. Dude, yeah, actually, that's crazy. Absolutely, he's but crazy honestly, too, I feel like I I can kind of get what he's getting at, dude. Like the thing is that like we have done a lot for the scene. A lot of us have done a lot for the scene, and in the end of the day, we're just gonna get a race. Like later on. Yeah, but and, like, like look what happened to Prague. He was so important, and now no one ever talks about Prague. Sure. Well, he yeah. left on his own choice, though. Yeah, yeah, but, like, he was so still he kinda... very important. Everyone was, oh, pro, pro, pro. But the thing, the, the scene moved so quickly that, like, yeah, I could retire today and everyone would be sad for a week, and then that's it. Like, I'm gone. So, yeah, I mean, it's, that's it, why it it's sucks, a... but it is what it is. It's true, but that's why yeah. you have to leverage your position into longer-term sustainable things. Like, yep. Like if you're if you're a commentator, you can be a commentator, but also try to like expand your horizons into either other commentary or like you know uh, like administrative stuff or like find different ways. A lot of people just you can't just be a commentator forever. It's kind of tough. Or you just True. have to have different games, and a lot of people just want to stick to only Smash. But that's not what I what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this coronavirus shit. Uh, I don't. I didn't know he was going down that route. I. Perhaps he's unwell. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know the guy. I've only seen him uh, online, but he seems like a good guy. Maybe he's just having a hard time. I agree, though, about the royalties thing, because like, it's like the Pepe guy, where it's like, he should be a millionaire. But <laughs> Yeah. Well, he shot himself in the foot because he was all... Well, it wasn't even him. It was the how this ended up turning into some like racial... Oh, right-wing pro stuff. Or Nazi yeah. propaganda or some shit like oh, that. Oh, right. Yeah, and I was like, huh? Like, <laughs> these are just memes, bro. What do you mean? Yeah. But, oh well. Yeah. Zodi, what move sounds the crunchiest in Ultimate? That's a good question. Um, Arsene, Arsene back, back air. Here. Yeah. Arsene back <laughs> air, bro. God damn. Yep. That shit. That shit, that shit is definitely just ruining my fucking life. I get hit by one of those, and like I'm definitely in a different. I'm I'm in a different uh in a different mindset. I could be up three one, or three zero, and then uh get hit by that arson back air, and the the arson could be at like one fifty, and I'm now like, man, this game is on notice. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was um, that's funny. There was some melee tournament I was watching, like in person, and Falco hit a shine. I've never heard that noise. It was like oh, a, that shit is so loud. Just, <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was, it was like in like Smash and Splash boosted. last year. It was insane. Just he hits the shot. <laughs> I was like, oh Jesus! I think someone said, someone said by like down smash, and I don't think it's really so much the sound. I think it's just the fact that the screen uh, freezes. So when you get hit by yeah. Violet's down smash, that shit is like it's the sound is is accompanied, but there's like a split second of just freeze when you get hit by that shit. Yes, <laughs> that's a good question. Damn, I literally just got to the uh, the spot where I made the tweet about Blast Zone going live. Holy fuck. All right, we're going to we're going to lightning round some of this stuff, guys. Sorry. All right. Nierette says, uh, what do you think the canon skill levels of the characters are like top tier for example? Nierette, you know this exists everywhere on the internet. Go read one of those. I got a fat cat for you. Like Ness is yeah, really good. Strong. Kirby's really strong. You know, like I'm not going to Canon tier list? Come on, this is Reddit material. Stop. Zedarar says, you are allowed to make any stage an ultimate legal, no exceptions. What stage do you pick and why? Also, you can specify hazards off or on. Any stage? I... I really like Garden of Hope, but I don't think that should be tournament legal. People are gonna camp hard. Garden of Hope? I love that fucking stage. Imagine that crab killing someone. Just 
Grand Finals <laughs> Game Five. <laughs> game. People trying to hide in the teacup. Like that'd be excellent. Agreed. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I would like I would like Woohoo Island. Literally, like actually Woohoo Island, like yeah, yeah, yeah. hazards on or off. Like uh, does it matter? I don't know. Actually, it's a good question. Yeah, I have to play that stage. I don't think it actually matters. Maybe off is just like you don't get off the ship. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put you down before you scratch me up. Come on. All right. Uh, I got a quick one. Brian Brady, what happened to the podcast with you and Swar? Smash Center is per- uh, currently on hiatus. It's because we don't have offline events, and that 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 podcast is less like us shooting the shit like we're doing right now and banter, and it's more like actual tournament results and happenings. And right now, it's just online. Um, we'll come back. It's just right now. It's like, and also Swar lives in New York City, where this COVID shit is like bonkers. So yeah, come, bro. You don't want you don't want to cough in the mic. You might transfer over the over the data. You know That's what I'm that? saying. We got like 200 viewers for those things, like. Imagine those 200 people infect 200 more people. You know, it's bad. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. Um, stuff. I know you've talked about this before, but it's been a while. Maybe it changed. What's your least favorite commentary phrase? Your least favorite thing people say on commentary. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I can't think of one off the top. I, I'm really sick of call out. I don't I like mean, people. But sometimes it's a call out. Though. Okay, sometimes it's a call out. You can't call everything a call out. Not everything is a fucking call out. People stop saying stuff is anime, so that's not a thing anymore. I hate every time a guitar says Kamehameha and it has nothing to do with <laughs> that. How about that? There, there's my answer. Right. Anytime Kataro says Kamehameha and has nothing to do with a projectile, I fucking hate that. Anyway, Rod saying the world duality. What what kills me about Rod is Rob. Won- oh, you know what, Rod? Rod's hilarious. Whenever somebody says uh, someone's very own. Oh, I hate that. Like Panda Golden was very. Anyone who says that, I hate that too. <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, all right, I know what camp he's in, nigga. That's we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when they're saying that, it's their brain buffering what they're gonna say next. Like sometimes you just say phrases that like spill out of your mouth, so you can think about the next thing that you're gonna say, and that's what I think is happening there. They're like. Team Liquid's very own to buzz, and then they have the next sentence queued up. It's just, uh, I. It's a good buffer. One thing that Rod always does that kills me is he'll be like, "If I do say so myself," he's like, "You are saying so." Like you don't, you have to you don't need the need the permission. Like it's that it kills me. Uh, I love Rod. He's funny as well. Let me see. Immaculate. Yeah, I guess. Like individual words are like style choices by the commentator. You know what I mean? I think I think remember remember the uh, the two years that Dion will continue to say Stellar. <laughs> oh yeah, Stellar's good. He was trying to I guess he was trying to get away with nice or get away from nice, so he just went with Stellar for like mad long. And yeah. I was like, bro. <laughs> I mean, everybody's got words, right? Like, oh man, good shit. Ee e says sensational. You know, I've got yep. some stuff. Like everybody's got words. Like it's fine. Let him have Stellar. I like that one. Oh, he doesn't do it anymore. That was like a while ago. It's yeah. just funny as fuck. Like I just realized I was like, this is your this is your word now. Yeah. Okay. Tito always says something about full coverage. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the people that'll be like, yo, that move had full coverage. Verizon. It's like, okay, I heard that in twenty sixteen. <laughs> like I can't <laughs> Yeah, I can't come on, dude. Like <laughs> there's gotta be a better way. <laughs> like Oh, commentary meta is funny. Oh man. Alright. Um I guess Arrow, are you guys worried that tournaments won't be around after quarantine is all said and done? Um, some tournaments won't be around. What, like, they're gonna, like, like, Smash and Splash is just dropping off the face of the earth? Like, Genesis won't? I don't know, actually. Um, we all nah, say boosh. Tournaments that's, will be around. We all it, it'll do, not everybody's gonna go to them. Mm-hmm. You know, you're gonna see, I think you're gonna see a decline in attendance for sure. But people will host, people will attend, life will go on. But I do think that Stuff is going to be significantly reduced in entrance yeah. for a while. Yeah. Um, I see. Mm. Twi- Twilight Link says, "What's the most dangerous wild animal you think you could win a th- fight against using only your bare hands, individually and as a group?" 
Most dangerous wild animal. You could, you could, you could, you could beat in a fight. I assume it's to the death. Uh, a meerkat. A meerkat? <laughs> you could do uh, better than that. Bust his ass. No. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said hippo. You're gonna die. With that, hippos are like I would, one of the scariest animals. I would box with an ostrich. I, I don't know, dude. They're scary. They they have a their claws are pretty. Yeah, their dude. claws are real. That's what you don't see. You just what see the I neck. The oh, jump. I can just strangle it. What if I get the jump first and catch his neck? Well, let's say no. You would get the. Let's say you're in an arena. They don't know why they're there, so you would get the jump on them. Mm. I think. Well, I don't know because they would see you. But yeah. Giraffe? I would say mm. a Komodo dragon. Dude, those things are what? deadly. Now, what? Well, the you thing, just kick I th that shit? No, if they... Like, Komo I feel, I feel like you can just outmaneuver it. I feel like you can outmaneuver it and get around it and then just choke it out. I think that's where the... the just hold its neck until it's just done. Bro, they're venomous as shit. If they bite you, you're dead. Right, you can't let them bite you. Uh, well, it's, oh, a, it's a gamble. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The average size of a Komodo dragon is 8.5 feet. Adult. What? Uh, now feet. Now is feet the same? Now are we measured in feet? So my if my five eleven does that mean eight? Yes, is longer. Eight, five. Okay, eight five what? long. That could are that'd you be tricky. saying <laughs> right now? He thinks that, the that could be tricky. He thinks that's like right that's now? like a big show Komodo dragon. Like as right. <laughs> it's a large. All right, it's large. <laughs> I, <laughs> Bro, I don't know. Right, never mind. I don't know then. I don't know. I could. I could probably. God, dude, I don't know. What? Hold on. What animals could humans? I'd fuck up a dog. Life? I could kill a dog, not a wolf, but you know, not a domesticated <laughs> dog. Chat. I'd box a kangaroo. You would die. Not a small dog, like a normal sized dog. I think I could fuck him up. Cause dogs just want to grab onto you and then like pull, but that's all of their focus. So then you just, you know. Why do you always go to dog killing? Because they're easy targets. <laughs> An octopus? No, octopus are smart as shit, dude. Nah, bro, you just you just wait until he gets close to it and you grab him by his head and throw him on land. Well, I guess they can live on land. They're smart as hell, dude. Octopus is like... I'll fight a catfish, bro. <laughs> throw him on land, square up, bro. That's not a dangerous <laughs> animal. A jellyfish. Uh, a stingray. A stingray has has proven to murder before. I'll take oh, all the stingrays. Oh, I'm good. Good luck. Now, I'll see it coming. Steve Irwin, I'm good. Stab your ass I'll, through I'll the heart. Steve Irwin fought the most dangerous animals on the planet, and he, he died. He got stabbed from behind. That's some that's some pussy shit. I'm looking at that motherfucker right in his beady eyes. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, that dude's yep. a pussy. All right. He didn't get stabbed from behind. What? He did. He got snuck up yeah. on by a stingray. <laughs> he got yeah. snuffed by a stingray. <laughs> <laughs> Paid him off, man. He got fucking games of throned. By a stingray. That's crazy. Oh, all right. Well, uh, there's your answer. There you go. 100 stealth stingray. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, b -b 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 As a group, what, what could all three of us? Probably anything. We could kill any animal. Three of us. Mm. All three of us together? We Un could armed? do anything. Unarmed? Unarmed. Let's fight a panda. Like, I'm good. I'm good. Pandas don't really fight. Strong. We could let's do fight that. A, let's fight like a jaguar or a cheetah. There we go. Yeah, like... Right, I'll go with I'll go with cheetah. Okay. Like, one or two of us might die, but as long as the third one wins, it's like a Mario Party minigame. It's like one of us will win, you know? Yeah, I'll go with a cheetah. I feel that. Because while it's, while it's chewing on me, you guys could just do something. Sure. Let's just kill all it, right. please. Uh, cheetahs can't fight at all. Is that true? Oh, I'd fuck up a cheetah then. If the cheetah runs away, I win. Right? Yeah, it's still a predator, and it kills you things, which win. means it's dangerous. <laughs> I'll just kick him once, and then just he'll run away, and they technically won. Cheetahs don't really fight? Good. All right. They got fragile bones? Oh, that makes sense. They're fast as hell. All right, next question. Uh, Dropout says, if you could punch any person in the world with 100% guarantee of zero repercussion, who would it be? Kataro. <laughs> <laughs> just well at that. Immediately. Right just after coming, coming hot, just... <laughs> Come on, me! Ah! <laughs> Zero repercussion. Uh, do, do they have to be alive? 
No, that could be dead. I would say my jungler, whoever my last jungler was. I hate those motherfuckers. <laughs> I hate those motherfuckers. I, they push up. They, I'm getting pushed all fucking game by Zerath with no flash and no mana. And I get zero gains. So the second I go past river, I get Rengar coming at my ass. Fuck my jungler. I hate that, dude. That's my answer. Uh, I'll probably punch Donald Trump. Okay. Um. Gee, I don't. That's tough. You know what? I would punch Dr. Umar Johnson. Who's that? He is a very stern black activist in the community. However, I think he's simply leveraging his appeal to support the black man in an effort to increase his wallet size. Wait, who was that Damn. dude that's like uh, in, ahead of the like uh, the internet protocol shit? Oh, uh, uh, Pi, Ajit Pi. I would punch him. Pi W's in the sure. chat. I don't know if he, I if would, I still have I that. I would for sure punch him. There he is. Yeah, he's in my yeah, chat yeah, now. Yeah, there yeah, he yeah. is. I would for sure punch him, yes. Yeah. That's my boy. Making that money, bro. Chase a <laughs> bag, you know? Uh, hmm. What character's voices stand out to you the most? Could be love, hate, anything. Uh, if you guys have an answer for that, go for it. Roy when he dies. Yeah, everybody talks about that one. That one's wild. That's murder. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fox when he dies. Pichu, Pichu in 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 melee when he when uh, they die. Oh my god, that is like, excruciating. Is pain. it? I've never heard it. Yeah, that shit is. Pichu be getting knocked around, bro. <laughs> yeah, duck hunt is is bad too, cause like duck hunt they actually just hurt a dog, like and made it a sound effect. That's kind of fucked up. Um, let me see. What at what? Pine Bapple, at the expense of getting 0 .01 centimeters younger every day, the people on Earth get to be happier every day. You will die when you get to baby form. Would you accept the deal? What? 0 .01 centimeters younger? That's not... Hold on, hold on, I gotta do some math real quick. Is that in relation to our height? Uh, Deteriorating? So every day, it w in a hundred days, you would be one centimeter shorter? Wait, so that means every year you would shrink 3.65 inches. Or centimeters. Uh, um, okay. Okay, so wait, what is 3.65? How is it measured people are happy? I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not answering. You do the math. Uh, Henrik says... 3.65 centimeters to inches is 1.4 inches. So, so I, I drop 1.4 inches every year. Every year. I, uh, I don't have enough to give. No. That, no. Nope. Absolutely not. No, I'm good. I'm already I'm good. average height. I'm not trying to, I'm good. you know. Yeah. No. See you. No thanks. Uh, Henrik says, do you guys play slash watch other fighting games outside of Smash? Uh, I dabble. Yeah. I watch some Mortal yeah. Kombat. Tekken, Grand Blue, uh... And Sam Show are the three that I play outside of this. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh, Street Fighter, and I did like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah. I don't see that too often anymore, though. But, yeah. Then after that, it's FPS games. Let's see. We already answered the timer question. <laughs> Dan says, what do you guys think of expensive shoes like Yeezys or Off-White? <laughs> Chris. Uh, I don't like Yeezys. I think that... The black culture is being tricked somehow by Kanye to thinking those shoes are nice. When if Ooh. you slap any other name on those, y'all will be like, what the fuck are these? So well, he's putting on the hotep mm. for that one. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see. Y'all over here praising Jesus, but you need to open your Bibles to Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm good. <laughs> temple points. That's my favorite part. All right. Uh, see, that's what I was talking about before. I can't, I can't do it without... Anyway. All right, Raz says, uh, oh, here we go. EE, -E, how did you and your girlfriend meet? Saw your stream a couple days ago playing Phoenix Wright where you pulled a prank on chat and I thought it was hilarious. There you go. Personal question. Oh, yeah, I, e -E, I, I, I answered that on I answered that on Twitter because I thought that's where people, That's I thought it was just directed at me. I oh. didn't realize it was a blast on question. So let me just, I'll just read it what I re re replied real quick. I say, I saw her at my first Evo from across the room and BS the reason to go talk to her. We became friends and then it went beyond that years later. I was simping. That's all. That's cute. Happy birthday, Jack. There you go. Uh, 
Schiller, I feel there's a handful of characters in Ultimate that play a campy play style. Why do you think Sonic gets so much hate? Is it because a lot of them are on Wi-Fi, or is it just fun to hate Sonic? Both. That's it. Both. Um, Sonic's been campy forever, though, but it, it's not as effective offline, but it's definitely effective right now since we're all stuck online, so yeah. Yeah. Scott, how do you feel about the culling update, and do you think it'll ever be good again? No. No. Culling, in case anybody doesn't know, culling was, like, one of the first, like, big... It wasn't even big, but it was one of the first, like, Battle Royale kind of games. I thought it was going to fucking take over the world. This was a year before Fortnite. It was amazing. It was so good. And then the developer just shit the bed harder than anybody I've ever seen. Yeah, the first time Culling came out, uh, the first version of Culling, amazing. Fucking Incredible. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was very hard to find guns, but you can make other, like, hand-to-hand -hand shit. So you can make, like, swords, like, axes and stuff. And, like, that was dope. It was, like, an actual survival BR game yeah. where if you got super lucky, you would get a gun. But it would be like last circle, five people left, yes. right? But and you get like three then, shots, maybe. Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they made it like they made that easier. And then they I don't know, the game just kinda like started dying. So then they made Cold Culling Two. They wanted people to buy it. Uh no, you don't buy BRs. That's not what you do. Like that's not how that works. You you make money off BRs from scans and cosmetics. That game died in twenty four hours. Now they're bringing the culling back again. But they still want you to buy it for five dollars, and then you have to buy uh, tokens basically to play the fucking game. So oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on with that uh, that developer, but whatever money they lost, they can make it back on skins if they were just fucking smart. But they're not trying to make uh, money back, and I just I don't get it. It's I weird. Don't get it. Yeah. Um. Om Ko says, "Who do you guys think will win the upcoming?" Uh, random characters only quarantine major. I don't know, man. Um, That's dope. Oh, it's kind of dope, but I feel like it's a quick question. Because you got Tweak, Leo, Nairo. Nairo. There you go. All right, you can answer this that quickly. Um, uh, I'll say Tweak. Yeah. I'm trying to... I think Tweak actively likes playing shitty characters yes. more than Nairo does. I agree. That's why. Uh, hold on, Zero's in the chat. Oh, God. I, I, it's Zero, so I'm giving him a little bit of privilege. What's the grimiest EE mm -hmm. e story, TK story... Or, oh wait, he said, "What's the grimiest EE -E story?" TK or Coney can answer. Oh, so he just uh, wants to know EE. E. That's that's hmm. dope. Hmm. No, we're not doing that. That's a good question. Why am I being systematically targeted? I don't know, but that's a good question. Hmm. Like, no, hmm. <laughs> no. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I actually, I do I have a couple. E, I do have a couple, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold them. I mean, to this day, I still, don't trust, I still don't trust EE, bro. I know too much. So. You know? <laughs> I know too much. Let's just, let's just put it that way, bro. Uh, okay. I keep I keep an arm's length. That's my boy, but I keep him at arm's length. Okay. Come on. You're like in the 2014. Yeah. <laughs> Come like on. 2018. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I keep him at arm's length, bro. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I'll just. I'll just. <laughs> uh, What's the next question? That's a good question. All right. All right. I feel like EE e. doesn't want anybody to see the real EE. E. That's what I think. I think I think deep down he's a big cuddly teddy bear and he just doesn't want anybody to see past that. That's all. Yep. So he has to deceive his wages. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, good question, sir. Right. Thank you. Uh, bu -bu -bu. That's dope. Uh, so uh, I'll answer this one quickly. I think. Oh, here we go. Yeah, glowing. If Fountain of Dreams frame rate issues are fixed, would it become legal at some point? Maybe. I don't know. We have too many triplats anyway. Between Yoshi's and Battlefield, I don't think we could use yeah, another Especially triplat. with Hazards off? Nah. I love Fountain of Dreams, and I wish it was legal, but no. Hazards on, though? Yeah. But Hazards off? Nah. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, uh oh, jeez. Are you too nerdy? Are you hyped for what's to come to the Switch in the future? Breath of the Wild 2, Mario remakes, potentially more fire games. I guess. I just, there's not much happening on the Switch right now. So. Breath of the Wild 2 and yeah. Ninjala are the only two games I think I'm looking for. Oh, and Normal Heroes, whenever the fuck that releases. What the, is there a, is there a release date for this yet? What? Normal Heroes 3? Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, what's the best non-Smash related moment in your life within 2020 so far? Non-Smash um, 2K subs? Hmm, my Twitch and YouTube. Uh, growing significantly. Mm. Happy about that. New video on Friday, by the way. New video Friday. TK, you have one. I, don't know. I guess I guess just tackling my mental health. Mm. That's, yeah. Uh, mine is taking care of Juliet because 
Oh, it's a yay. fucking joy, dude. She learns every day. It's beautiful. She's like grabbing for stuff. I love her. I love her. Cabin of That's Father Hood. She's amazing. There you go. Uh, uh, Nirat wants to know Nirat how much weight have you gained, gained during, during Corona? During corona. Under 10 Under pounds, 10 but, more, pounds, than but five, more than five. I think. I think. I'm eating None? like shit. I've actually been losing weight, so. You guys aren't yeah. gaining weight? Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't eat enough, so. Yeah, I've I've only lost weight. I I uh I because I still run like three or four times a week and I still eat proper. Gotcha. Uh, so I'm there. I'm at like uh, 223 now, down from 269. So gotcha. I've been consistent. Yeah, I've probably gained probably five because I'm I'm like I just I'm stress eating a lot because I'm working a lot. So, but it's mm. a good time. Uh, Dave says, most fun crew battle to commentate since Smash 4. I don't really like commentating crew battles, dude. They're too long. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a D1 in Katara question. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> those, are, those are the crew battle guys. Yeah. All right, we'll be, uh, we'll be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run through a lot of these. Let me see. Uh, Proto, when are you going to show these two Beyond Belief? This is not a dope question. I might show it to them. I don't know if they dig it. I, 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 watch, I watch your streams. Oh, okay. Well, then there we go. I, I kind of want to show you show I, one of the ideas that I had in the future is I want to show other people this show because eventually I'm going to run out of episodes. I'm going to know all the answers, but I want to have like a two person show where like two people compete and see who gets the most right and the winner gets a prize. I don't know. So and a lot of people want to see you guys do it. So it might be fun. Might be done. What's it called? Beyond it's Belief? It's called Beyond Belief. Yeah, it's okay. so fucking funny. Uh, I, I, I stream it. It's very fun. Uh -oh. So uh -oh. I got a lot of ideas. Well, I see. I see what he's watching next time on his. I was gonna say, don't cheat. Line. No cheating. No cheating. I I don't <laughs> copy anybody's stuff with watching. <laughs> Look at your emote, bro. <laughs> My nigga, that was four years ago. I don't I'm care. Proud. I'm proud. I, I don't, don't care. care. And honestly, it's not four years ago because that's where the uh, the the god emote came from too, bro. I had that in development long before. No, you did it. No, you did it. D1 was first. I came through with D1. I was like, damn, that's actually mad funny. And he was like, you should do it. And then you had to be all extra about it and put all this extra shit on it. So, ah! I just gave myself a halo! What's and, the and the gun? And the Bible? All right. I'm, yeah, well, fuck well, out. Stay, like, stay strapped, dog. All right. Uh, <laughs> four years ago. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sleepy people, with the term dead game being thrown around a lot in a lot of fighting games, what's your opinion of what defines a dead game? I don't know, dude, because Smash has so many fucking players. I don't know what a dead game is. Like, sometimes I'll see, uh, like, a hundred people playing a game, and people are like, oh, yeah, that's really good. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I think a dead game is any game that can't get 16-man bracket. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Any I game that I want to play on, on, that e on the On the Hell's Kitchen, though. You, you got something to say about that? What happened? Shofu was on that Hell's Kitchen uh, uh, last night, bro. What you? Uh... I mean, hey, you know, if nah. I ain't got no problems with that, you know what I'm saying? Just, just remember who did it first, baby. That's all I ask. I've got a, uh, I've got a show I'm watching after Beyond Belief, and I'm, I'm keeping that shit very close to my chest. Nobody's taking that from me. This shit's oh, yeah. mad sneaky. You no, know, not trying to take that shit. That's content. Uh. Yeah, me actually, chat. Mean Greens is dead, but there's another uh, game on Steam that is the same thing, but it's with action figures. I forget what it's called, but apparently it has a lot of players. I don't know, but it looked kind of fun. I don't know. Um, here we go. Black Kid asks, "Are y'all ducking a tourney or two as soon let as Tio's?" Let me are... ask you why you said it like that, bro. Because yeah, I'm curious because that <laughs> inflection. Because that if inflection I said it normally, voice. you guys would have been like, "Whoa, Cody!" But <laughs> I nah, have to put nah, on a, okay. nah, nah, bro. Why did you say it like that? Like, I just why could you? I, so Black Kid said because Black I, Kid. If I said it normally, you guys would be like, "Uh oh, did Cody say that so funny?" Say Cody's weirdly, white, by the way. Did. Like you would have just. Uh, okay. Why is it always okay, race with buddy. you, bro? Come on. This nigga right here. I don't know, bro. All right, well, this black kid says, are you guys ducking attorney or two as soon as TOs are in the clear to host events so you can avoid COVID? Or are you attending ASAP? What do you guys think? Uh, depends How much on you what pay? the paycheck is. <laughs> <laughs> right here, man. All right. Good Be real with you, bro. I'm not going to no fucking free tournament. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to travel out there to potentially get coronavirus <laughs> for $3. Like, I'm good. <laughs> Back the Brinks truck up, homie. Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, you think I'm gonna die for less than less than four digits? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, 
I think it depends on what event is the first after all this. We talked about this on past shows, like what, like maybe Big House if it's in October, but I don't know. We'll see. I know, TK, you said you didn't want to do Big House, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. What know. are you doing? Mm-hmm. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Actually, I told you I didn't want to do Big House depending on the deal, and I think, I don't know if you got the same deal that I was uh, proposed, mm-hmm. but it is a better deal than what, we, what we've been getting, so. Wait, for this Big House coming? Yes, if it ever happens. Oh, I didn't get talked to about that. Damn. I will talk to y'all about it after the stream. Damn, I did not get hit up. Oh, no. Uh, Wait, how would they have hit you up? That's all the way in October. They're already hitting you up? Well, they hit me. It was a package deal thing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, God end. <laughs> Any drunk EE stories? Bro, <laughs> where is <laughs> when that? EE e- specific much, questions. Actually, so there's no real good drunk he, like that's the one thing i'll give it up he doesn't drink that much like he just you know I'll all of us up. will go out and get wild and shit but he's like he'll he's like nah i'm good he will smoke though <laughs> and those stories are funny uh, i do like i do like the devil's you lettuce. did you did uh, you did but not as much anymore we went to um we went to Sky's party one time, and we were smoking with like me and him and tyrant and shit and he, <laughs> he was talking about the most random shit bro that shit <laughs> Man, and tell me I can't remember what he was talking about, bitch. but it was good times. It was good times. Yeah, it was fun. I remember the thunder story, which I will not recount, but that I think it was thunder. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk. Let's not. I have a drunk all TK right, story right. actually, but I don't think I can talk about it. At Big House, I'll do you remember you that, one? that one? That come was on, really come funny. On. Come on, you can't talk about that one. Come on, I can't. I'm not gonna. Come on. No, you you can't. Come on. Come I can. You can. Oh no, I'm not going to. That's okay. Come on, bro. I won't talk about it. No, no, no. That's fine. Come on. No, but it's funny. It's very funny, it is funny. but yeah, I won't talk about it. it. I won't talk about it. Room full of people. Yo, actually, that's in that crazy. same night, I I, uh, I I tackled Plank apparently. Oh really? <laughs> and I and I uh, trying to get your money. And I, I I gave him a, uh, a a stitch like he apparently needed stitches right here. So I I guess I guess that was a pound five comeback or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get your money, bro. He probably yeah, deserves. That's it. funny. Uh, oh, War man. says, "What's your guys' favorite cereals?" Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm basic. Uh, special K fruit and yogurt. Wow, this guy, he really is on the weight loss grind. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, either vanilla checks or golden grams. Or, or Cinnabon. One of those three. I, got, I, I like good. cereal. All I like cereal, good. bro. Uh, Neoret. <laughs> what is your. Oh, f- real quick. If you like kicks, though, fuck yeah, out. I like kicks. Fuck out. Kicks is great. Kicks is only good only, when you. Only if it's kicks with the berries, right? Kicks is only good. Like, I'm talking about regular ass kicks. Kicks is only good if you shower that shit in uh in, in sugar. No, no. Kicks yeah. is fine. It's kid tested, no. mother approved. Yeah, okay. Cause <laughs> it's it's white up, kid tested. Yeah, bot. And white mother approved. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> for me then, it's delicious. Yeah, for you. So you <laughs> see, I was about to make a joke. This is. I was gonna say, why don't you just eat the cocoa puffs then? But I can't do that because we're in a different era. I mean, you, you already know? said it now. So I know, but, <laughs> but, I, but, I gave it, but I gave it some. But I gave it, but I gave it. <laughs> All right, bro. I don't want to answer any more questions. Blast out. No. <laughs> I gave you the disclaimer, okay? So it's fine. All right. Uh, here we go. I don't even so, like Cocoa Puffs. Neeret says, what's your favorite? Okay, if you guys don't want to answer this, it's okay. What is your favorite vaginal intercourse position? Uh, I'm pretty basic, so. What missionary? Yeah, but it's like not like the like I'm laying on top. You feel on top? Like I like the, the the one where like she's like at the end of the bed and like her legs are like right here. You know what I'm saying? And like on your shoulders. Like going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm doggy. Of course he would be. I just like. I, I just like ass. I seen them cheeks, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I no, I think that's yeah. most. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's most people, right? Like, that's like man. I feel like I feel like so. This is my my issue with doggy is that like I feel like all those those years I've been growing up, most guys who were talking about doggy style was because they didn't want to see the girl's face because she wasn't cute. So like, oh, mm. I don't know. I don't have like a, it's not like I won't ever do it, but that's always been my. You feel thing. Like, like it's, it's disrespectful. Like, I, I went to a, yeah. I feel like it's almost like we gotta respect women. So. Yeah, I got to respect one. I want to I wanna look you in your eyes and tell you you're beautiful while I'm deep stroking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. 
I do know what you're I mean, saying. back in the day, it was it was a different time, you know. You had to let her know she belonged to the streets. Yeah, that was but yeah, now high school when I was growing up. I mean, I all, agree. That was it was a different time when dudes were just being mad, disrespectful to girls all the time. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, yo, I just had sex with my girlfriend. She ain't nothing but a bitch, though. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. That's why I always want to have a daughter, so maybe I can start looking at women different. <laughs> You don't need a daughter for that. You can just do that today. Uh, Come on, bro. Uh, <laughs> That's crap. On this episode, you've just said the wildest thing that we've had. I thought I had the wildest thing for Ashley like earlier. Say, no, you won. You win. You win. <laughs> you win today. All right, bro. You asked for my answer? I feel like everybody's... I'm a virgin. That's what it is, bro. Yeah, I just... I I'll love to tell you when it happens. Um, Keith, you're... I'm not going to answer this. Keith... Your character yeah. in Smash, what's your final Smash and win quote? Is that Keith the Human? That's Keith. What Keith, the come fuck? on, bro. Oh, that's I'm too banning hard. Him. I'm banning him. I'm banning him. Keith, type so I can ban you, bro. Actually, never mind. It's cool. Here we go. Oh, no. Keith's a mod. <laughs> you can't get rid of him. Fuck. He has a sword. I'm mod him. <laughs> All right. Uh, my boss, Samurai Panda, CEO of Panda. I'll just ban him in my own chat. Wants to know. Thank you, Alan, for the question. What do you guys think of the Sam Show Twitter controversy? Have you guys seen this? About the them being all horny about that? New <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't see the original tweet. I only saw um, that one chick tweeting about it after. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. That's, but, I mean, did it get the clicks? Then it worked. That's all I'm there saying. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Chad, in case you didn't know, so... Samurai Showdown was like showing off a new character, I think, whose butt is out. Like her, it's like a cami thing. Like her ass is just out, bro. And mm -hmm. uh, Sam Show like tweeted out a picture of that, and then they tweet out like, "It's time to be horny on Main" or something like that. Like it's okay to be horny on Main or something. And uh, somebody in the community, um, a woman in the Sam Show community, was like, "All right, this makes me uncomfortable. I don't like this." And then Sam Show was like, "Okay, we're sorry. We deleted it." Um. It was something like that. I don't want to misspeak. Sorry if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody in the chat... Uh, Super some, Yan. That's her name. Got, Super got, Yan. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, somebody yeah. in the chat, if I'm wrong, correct me on this. What, uh, what's the big deal about that? These are the same people who turn around and then, like, immediately defend sex workers. You know, if somebody comments, uh, like, why are you posting it, this... It, this thotty stuff. Super hey, why can't she do what makes her happy and makes money? You know what I'm saying? I don't think so who cares? Like that, I don't think Superman's like that, though. Like, anybody No, else? I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about, like, in general, if somebody gets mad about stuff like that, it seems like there's always that contradiction there. Like, I... If if if, if it's, like, super, like, like in a sexist way or something, like, yeah, sure, of course. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, it's, like, weird territory to me because I think... I think, first of all, I think sex work is fine. Do whatever you want. But it's, like, they'll hate... Like, some people hate one thing and then, like like another and sometimes they kind of over almost overlap so i always get confused about stuff like that well it's hard to know because like there, there are so many different people with so many different perspectives i don't want to put anybody in one bucket to be like yeah i just get confused about stuff like yeah. that i i think i think it's the right thing to do like you can't tk, TK left <laughs> tk's out no i feel like i feel like it's it's just them trying to be a little bit maybe too playful and towing the line and going over a little bit too much. Yeah. I think the worst thing to do is, like, the worst thing you can do, I think, is to address it like, oh, you guys are triggered snowflakes, whatever. Like, if somebody feels uncomfortable with it, they should be able to express it. But I do I do feel like I didn't, I didn't see the situation. I feel like some people get too online and too, like, into their own, like, bubble and freak out over mm -hmm. little things. I didn't see this, so I don't have an opinion on it. Um, yeah, I'm just speaking from what you just kind of described. You know what I mean? I didn't see it either. Sure. But I just, like, it's see, I've seen that before where it's, like, two things seem like they'd be kind of similar in, like, in similar lanes, mm. and then, like, one's okay and one's not. So I just get confused by that. I'm not, I, like, I shitting on anybody by any means. I think that you like swords and, uh, and big hitting moves that you should play Sam Show, regardless of sexual orientation or sexual attraction to characters because it is also a very good game. Thank you. This is the blast song. Can we please leave now? TK thinks that's dope. All right. Dope. Next question. Good good answer, chat. Good answer. All right. Uh, actually, not a question. Just getting Neoret out. Thank you, Kelkador. All right. Uh, Neoret, I've already told your mom happy birthday. Stop. 
Deep Water says, do you as commentators ever watch top level VODs on your own time to keep warm when events aren't happening? No, because we get to, we commentate on them. We don't do VODs, you know, like, right? Nah, I'm goaded. I don't watch anything anymore. <laughs> we, figured out, we figured out too much about this game. It's like, fine. I'm good. Yeah, it's fine. I just play. If I need to figure out something, I'll play. Yeah. And, yeah. Bait says, will you, and, and only a couple more questions, so we'll lightning around this. Bait says, do you guys have ever, ever have guests on the podcast? No, I wanted to do that when we first started this, but you know how hard smashers are to fucking wrangle? I'll be like, hey, can you, can you do this show on Wednesday? And you hit them up on Friday of the previous week. Oh, yeah, sure. Hit them up Tuesday. Are we still on? Hit them up Wednesday. Hey, are we still on? Yeah. Oh, I've, I slept in. We, uh, All right, bro. Consistency, okay. man. Remember, we had four people before, but one of them wasn't consistent. So, you know, we pick consistency over anything. Yeah, op I I'm the used to be able to. I'm consistent. That's crazy. You are consistent. We've all been very consistent. Being consistent here at six late. Late. No, he's not now though. He, I was gonna he's say not, he's been fine. He's not, not not now though. He's been on. He's been on time. Just you know, before he was consistently thirty minutes late. I don't know how he was doing it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had Omni as the fourth for a while because Omni was supposed to. Like, when we first started, Omni was the play to tap into that casual audience, right? Because he had a big YouTube audience, and none of us had YouTube. So we were like, all right, he talks to the YouTube group. And then Omni didn't have the time, and he couldn't do anything. So, and now Omni, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's doing accounting stuff. He doesn't play Ultimate, really, at all. I think he's in a different phase, so. Um, you just have to put everyone on blast so future people don't flake as much? No, because then people won't sign up. Because if something comes up, they're not going to do it. They're going to be like, oh, they're just going to make fun of us. You know, so, yeah. Mm. Uh, you last question. Who's the... Hold on, let me make sure this is the actual last question. Yeah. Who's the coolest character that you never see in alt? Like, the coolest character that never gets played? Uh, you actually have Meta Knight in your thing. Meta Knight's fun to watch. Um, yeah, that's my answer. Yeah. There you go. Meta Knight. I'm going to say Meta Knight, Meta Knight, Lucario. One or the other. But, like, anytime I see that Lucario side B hit, I get hyped. Get the boosh. Yeah. I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat. I'm a big, um, a big Lucario enthusiast. I'd like to see more of him, yeah. but, you know. I'm actually a Falco fan, too. Yeah, people in the chat are saying Falco. I don't like fighting Falco. Falco, really? I, I don't like, I fucking hate fighting hate Falco, but I love watching him. I hate his movement in this game. I hate his movement. Yeah. I think he's smooth, though. Uh, like, he's like. Well, maybe it's just his down throw I hate. His down throw looks like pixel. Oh, yeah. Shit. Falco's nasty. I like watching him. I don't like playing him, but cutscene-ass character. All right, that's going to do it for Blast Zone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. In case you're just tuning in, we do this every single Wednesday. If you missed this episode, too bad. Come back next week. Uh, happens every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm Coney. This is TKNEE. -E. You guys want to do any shouts before we go? It's time for Real Talk with TK Breezy. So bring yourself over to my channel so we can talk about random-ass things. But in a Discord call, uh, because that's what I do on Wednesdays now. I just fucking do a bunch of talk shows. Uh, other than that, man, thanks for watching. I mean, we love, I love doing Blast Zone. I love talking to y'all. It's I love, fun. You know, love talking to y'all, too. But I love, you know, interacting with the chat as well. Sure. And all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Twitter and, and Twitch at TK Breezy. And yeah. Cool. Uh, EVSU, that's the Twitch. That's the YouTube. Check me out. I might be live later tonight. Not 100% sure. I got some stuff to do, but... Uh, definitely live tomorrow on Twitch for show. New YouTube video popping up on Friday. Check it out. It's going to be a good one. It's got a skit in it this time. Uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Cool. Uh, I'm Coney. Obviously, you guys are on the stream now. I'm trying to hit 700 subs so I can open up a P.O. box for subs to send me stuff. Ooh. Please don't send Ooh. porn or, or, or just please be an adult, okay? Uh, I'm almost at, I'm close to 700. I'm getting a haircut soon, too. Chat, I, I have an idea. For the haircut, I'm going to have a couple options, and you guys are going to clip maps what you want to see, so it'll be fun. Um, my wife is going to be cutting my hair, and the subs are going to decide what they cut it into, so it's going to be a fucking disaster. So, Can we send baby food right. if it's not perishable? I have one request. Yep. Can my um, Nightbot, can it be updated? Like, my Twitter is EEVSU now, not the phenomenal EEVSU. Oh, yeah. I don't know if your mods can do that or not. Yeah, I think one of my mods. Mod, can one of you guys fix that? C E V Sue, please. please. Can Mal veto the haircuts? What we're gonna do is pick like seven or eight choices. And then Thanks, and then somebody's gonna and then you guys get to click maps it. Also with colors. We're gonna have like seven or eight colors. We'll figure it out. 
Um, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm done for tonight. I'm going to be streaming Majora's Mask tomorrow because it's Thursday, which is my normal stream night. Uh, we're going to kick you over to TK stream now to watch some uh, real talk with TK Breezy where you can ask him anything not Smash related. It's amazing. Life advice. It's a live talk show. It's a good time. But for now, we're going to say good night. Have a good time, guys. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Peace.